Azusa Aizawa, age 27. Single, female, corporate slave. All my life I've lived only for my career. No love, no fun, no anything else. Just work. And nothing but work. I worked 50 days in a row once. Aren't there supposed to be labor laws against that? Then one day, I suddenly up and passed out right at my desk. Oh my goodness. Hey, are you all right? Oh, jeez. I just died, didn't I? You did. You worked yourself to death. And you were only a young woman in your 20s. So young, it's heartbreaking. I see. So I literally lived and died for my job? That's sad. No, now, don't get depressed. I'll give you a brand new life that you can live happily from beginning to end. And you'll be free to do almost anything you please. Sparkles really? Sparkles. Anything I want? Uh-huh. I have a soft spot for women like you. Gods are allowed to be biased like that? Yes, we are. All right, make me ageless and immortal. Okay. Wait, that's it? It's that easy? Awesome. Hold still. Mana will soon circulate and flow through you. And you'll reincarnate into a body that will never age. Want more? Uh, no thanks. That's enough. All I want this time around is to live a slow, lazy life. Coming right up. Your new relaxed life will be in some calm, peaceful highlands. I'll go ahead and make you young and pretty, too, around age 17. Perfect. And now... Hururin, hururun, poa poa Language this is, but I can read it. Free house to anyone who wants it. That's nice. I wonder if this is another gift from that goddess. Wait, is this me? Wow, I really do look 17. And I'm super cute too. And these great clothes? I really look like a witch. I'm reborn. And now I've got a new life. And that corporate slave is gone. Goodbye, Azusa Workaholic, and hello, Azusa Lazy Witch! And so today, I'm gonna begin living my easy life! I can grow my own food and be self-sufficient. Hey, there's a village! I've got a weapon? Hmm? And some money, too! Maybe I should go down there.
That was the day my new life, my slow and easy life, began. I eat and drink whatever I want, I sleep as much as I want, and I tend to my little field. When I want some exercise, I just beat up slimes. Their magic stones are my most valuable source of income, so I try to get at least 25 a day. I go visit the nearby forest, too. Being a witch, I know what plants are medicinal. On occasion, I actually make medicines and then sell them in the village. Yup, with just minimal labor. And an easy day to day, I live a life of leisure. This second life of mine is fantastic. And thus, 300 years passed. And 26. After 300 years, I don't need a blade. Guess I must have leveled up a bit. Oh, it's the Witch of the Highlands. Good morning. The medicine you brought last time worked great. I'm so glad. It's been 300 years. I know more about this village's history now than anyone else. We've been through a lot together. I've examined patients in distress and healed them with my medicines. One time, I even helped stop the spread of a plague. Now everyone treats me like I'm the town's guardian deity. No, I can't say that bothers me. Hello? Here you go, 5,200 pieces of gold. Thank you very much. See you again tomorrow. Wait, please, don't go just yet. All right. There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a while. You've been a member of this guild so long, just how strong are you? How strong am I? You mean, like, in battle? Uh, I wouldn't think I'm that strong at all. I mean, I'm registered as an adventurer, but I've never been on an adventure. I've been so curious. May I please look at your stats? Now that you mention it, no one has checked them in 300 years. Exactly! You've been killing slimes and protecting Blata for centuries! Your stats have got to be through the roof. I'd bet money on it. Sure, you can check, but I'm just a country witch who knows about medicinal plants. Don't get your hopes up. Adventurers want with me. We would like to test our skills against you. Huh? 
I'm just a country witch who ekes out a living making herbal medicines. I'm not special. Why would you want to fight me? We were told a level 99 witch lived here. Is that not you? Oh, crap! <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. The Adventurer Guild's stat reader was broken. Honestly, I'm really not that strong at all. More like level 10. Or 3. Stop trying to lie to us. You have so much mana, it's practically gushing out of your body. Uh, it's quite obvious you are incredibly uh, strong. Fine. If you really want to fight, I'll fight. But only on one condition. If I win, then you have to go and tell everybody I'm no big deal. I don't like fighting, and I want to avoid doing more of it. This is our sparring circle, and you must challenge me in this circle. If you step outside of it, then you lose and we're done. Now, let's fight! Wind, I command you, be my servant, and with all your might, flow! Oh, so that's how you use wind magic. Keep it weak, Azusa. Just a little. Wind, be my servant, and with all your might, flow! What the hell? She's a monster! is level 99, I couldn't believe my ears. So what everyone's saying is true? I saw it with my own eyes. Her magic is just incredible. She's definitely level 99. So that's how Flotta's Witch of the Highlands maxed out her level. And once word spread far and wide, huh? 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 Why, hello. And just, what can I do for you? Are you the strongest witch in the world? A dragon showed up at my door. I am the most powerful dragon in Nanterre. My name is Laika. I heard rumors that the strongest witch in the world resided here, at this house in the Highlands. Oh, please no. Don't tell me you're here to test your strength, too. That's exactly why I'm here. Gloom, does the entire planet know about me? Now I've got dragons at my door! I have no desire to be known as the strongest anything. All I want is peace and quiet. If you want the title of strongest, you can have it. I cannot accept that. We must fight to see who is strongest. That is the only honorable way to settle the matter. What a royal pain in the ass. And if I refuse to fight? I will rampage. <sighs> okay, fine. I don't want my nice house to get destroyed. Let's fight. But remember, I never claim to be strong. If I turn out to be weaker than you thought, go easy on me. Very well. I will agree to that. My only concern is proving that I am strongest. And now, I bid a brief farewell to solid ground. Ah, oh, you do indeed have the skills of a witch. But do not assume you are my equal because you can fly. <laughs> Here, I command you to freeze! It appears you are truly a high-caliber witch. But it doesn't matter how advanced your magic is. Take this! You won't escape! Here, I command you to freeze! Hey there, old Lyca the dragon. My wrecked house? What you gonna do about it? 
hope you plan to fix it. Cause you'll regret it if you don't. No, no, no need for that. I will fix it. I have a fair amount of money stored in the mountain where I live. That should be enough to cover repairs. If that's okay, I'll go and retrieve it. All right, but if you try to run away on me... <laughs> Rest assured, I will return, I promise! I'll have to stay in town for a bit. Oh, hello, Miss Witch. I heard that you defeated a dragon. We saw it flying away from town. Sorry to worry you. I did end up defeating it, but it kind of wrecked my house. So would it be all right if I stayed in town for a while? Wow, fancy. But isn't this room supposed to be for dignitaries? I'd be fine with just staying at the inn. What? No. You're the great witch who protected our village from a terrible dragon. Please stay in this room as long as you like. Uh, also, great witch. Huh? When I was sickly as a child, you made medicine for me and it saved my life. You've treated many sick people in this village and they survived because of you. <laughs> well, I suppose accepting people's gratitude can't hurt. Okay. Hello! Welcome to the Keen Eagle. It's the Witch of the Highlands. A toast to our town witch! <laughs> I will have my usual omelet, please. And some beef stew. Huh? Mm. The omelets here are the best! They're so yummy! And you, Great Witch of the Highlands, are the best village protector. Our Great Witch totally rules! Thank you! Fame. Oh well. A toast to the village of Blada. To Blada! <laughs> Last night was so much fun. It actually made me glad I'm a witch. I'm sorry to interrupt your rest, but there's someone here who says they wish to see the Witch of the Highlands. Huh? I'm sorry for the trouble I caused yesterday. Trouble? What trouble? Have you and I met somewhere before? Oh, right. This is the first time you've seen me in my human form. I am Laika, the red dragon you fought yesterday. <laughs> you? Yes, we members of the dragon race can change our forms at will. I brought you the money I'd been saving, as promised. Thank you, Laika. This should be more than enough to make repairs on my wrecked house. And also, I came because I wanted to ask you a favor. What is it? I want to learn. Huh? Please teach me. Take me on as your pupil. Me? Teach you? Yes, precisely. Battling with you yesterday made me realize just how much I still have to learn. Knowing that I was the strongest in non terror made me complacent. I want to forget that and start back at square one. Oh, hold on. Your gung-ho attitude's great, but I didn't do any training. None whatsoever. No, ma'am. I just made a habit of beating up slimes every day and this is what happened. Discipline. I forgot all about it and became too proud. I didn't train and overestimated how strong my powers were. And the result? Defeat. I lost. So to make sure I never lose again, I wish to learn your industriousness. My what now? Let me live with you and learn your ways. I'll work for you. I promise I'll earn my keep. You say you'll earn your keep. So, does that mean you do chores like cooking, cleaning, and laundry? Yes, of course. I'd be happy to. This could be worth it. It might make my slow, relaxed life even easier. Very well, then. I will teach you and you may come live with me. <gasps> thank you, thank you so much. Out of curiosity, how old are you? I think I was born about 300 years ago. Then we're the same age. Uh, is there something wrong? With both of us living here, it might be too small even after it gets fixed up. Think maybe we should expand it a bit? If you're worried about space, I can build us something with more. You can build? You didn't mention you were an architect. I can't make anything too fancy, but with enough stone and wood, I can do it. Okay then. Heave, ho, heave, ho. Hey! How about 
we both quit working for today. Let's head back to town. That's okay, Lady Azusa. I can keep going all night. I'm barely tired at all. Plus, dragons can see in the dark, so if I work extra hard, I'll be done by morning. Laika! Uh, that's absolutely a hard no, okay? Okay, but what did I do that was wrong? Laika, working extra hard, staying awake and working all night long? You can't do those things! Not now, not ever! I just wanted to show you how hard a worker I am. Hard work isn't a good thing! When you're working yourself half to death! <gasps> Come on, it's getting dark out. The world is giving you a sign. It's telling you you've done enough for the day. Do you think I got to level 99 by pushing myself too hard? No way! I work a moderate amount and that's it. And now that you're my pupil, that's the lifestyle you're going to have to uphold. I understand. I will do as you say and not overwork myself. Very good. Starting now from this point on, if you're tired or stressed, I want you to say so. Your concern for my well-being. It truly touches my heart. <laughs> Don't be dramatic. So, the building's all finished. What do you think? Do you like it? Wow! with how it turned out, I couldn't be happier. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hurry, Laika, let's go! We're gonna celebrate in the village! And so, 300 years after I was reincarnated and became an immortal witch, I began my life as a teacher. are watching. Thus, when you use that expression, it suggests you might have a habit of bragging, which is not a good thing. Oh, that didn't occur to me. Don't beat yourself up. Just plug along steadily every day. If you approach almost any activity a little bit at a time, it'll be a lot easier to stick with. Your advice is so wise and meaningful. I will adopt your method in hopes of one day reaching your level myself. No reason not to. Mowing down slimes is easy. And it's not like they'll seek revenge. You shall pay, Highland Witch. And pay dearly. I will prepare our breakfast today, Lady Azusa. Sounds great. I'll leave it to you then. You know, I wasn't aware dragons know how to cook. You weren't? Dragons are among the most accomplished of the noble races. Cooking is but a simple task for us. Done. 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 Ta -da! I give you my finest culinary creations. Please, eat up. Sparkle! I do love a good omelet, but I think you might have used too many eggs. This is too much for just us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I've been so used to cooking dragon-sized portions. That's okay. Come, we should eat this thing before it gets cold. Sure. Bon, bon appetit. appetit. Yes, 
Its magical defenses are extremely weak. If just one evil mage attacked, they could reduce it to a sea of flames in moments. Yeah, maybe, but wouldn't that be the case with pretty much any small town? Plata is worse! It has no defense at all against a land-based attack. If several large monsters attacked at the same time, the town would be toast! I think you're over-worried. Rumors about you being a level 99 witch have already begun circulating far and wide. You've had challengers already! What if some vile fiend comes and takes the village hostage to get to you? You may have a point there. But it isn't like I can just stand guard over Flata around the clock. No, but there is another solution we could try. A do-it-yourself barrier? A witch of your level must know create magic. I'm sure it has to be one of your many skills. Therefore, you can use it to make a barrier around the village. If you want that barrier to last for a while, the best way is to use a magic circle. Wow. Dragons sure do know a lot about magic. Actually, I went to a girl's school and learned it there. Girl's school? There. It's complete. Okay, here goes. All beings who are wicked at heart, you will get caught in this net and become incapacitated! into the village suddenly froze and cannot seem to move. Isn't it great? Your magic's already working. <laughs> you know what caused this? Earlier tonight, Lady Azusa put up a barrier over the whole town. Oh, at long last, the debate over town security measures that has raged for years is at an end. Friends, countrymen, I have wonderful news. Thanks to the Great Witch, our village is safe. Yeah! No, please, I barely did anything. If you want to thank someone, Laika's the one you should thank. Huh? Laika the Red Dragon is my pupil, and it was she who suggested putting up the barrier. No, Lady Azusa, you did all the magic. I, I just drew a circle, a circle in the dirt. Dragon? As in the Red Dragon you defeated that we saw fleeing? Yeah, Laika came back though, and she's become my pupil. Turns out she's sweet and thoughtful, so be nice to her, okay? Uh, uh, yes, I am Laika. It's a pleasure to meet you. Of course the Great Witch would have a dragon for a dragon. I'm so glad you came to live with me, Laika. You do a great job with the chores, and your cooking is delicious. I'm happy too, Lady Azusa. In the short time I've been here, I've already learned so much. <sighs> I hope we can live this easy life forever. Uh... Huh? <sighs> A little girl? <clears throat> hey, little one. What can I do for you? I wanted to meet you, Mama. Lady Azusa? Mama, you okay? Lady Azusa, is everything all right? I'm Fafa. And I came to see Mama. Lady Azusa has a little girl? I don't have a kid! She's wrong! There's gotta be some mistake! You're wrong! You are my Mama! You said your name is Falfa, right? Well, Falfa, Mama is what you call the woman who gave birth to you, or who raised you. But you're the one who gave birth to me, Mama! <sighs> you're the witch of the Highlands, that's what the villagers say. I know, because my sister looked into it. Wait, you have a sister? Well, you are 300. It makes sense you'd have a love child or two after that long a life. Such a proud, independent woman I learn more from every day. I don't want you to learn that, Laika! Oh, Mama, you're in trouble. Huh? It's my little sister. She wants you dead. Someone hates me so much they want me dead. This is an interesting twist. I don't want you to die. I don't want her to kill you, Mama. That's why I'm here. Lady Azusa, I think we should let her in and hear what she has to say. I guess so. Hey, Falfa, wanna have cookies with us? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd love to. Now that I think about it, I probably would have looked a lot like her when I was a kid. On second thought, no. These look yummy. Time to eat. Huh? So 
Well then, Falfa, can you tell me your little sister's name? Her name's Shalsha. And this Shalsha girl, you say she's my daughter too? Mm-hmm, that's right. Uh, interesting. Do you know why she wants to kill Lady Azusa? Shalsha's got a grudge against Mama. Because Mama killed her. How did my slow life take a turn for the occult? I don't fully grasp all the details yet. But still, if Shalsha wants you dead, then we need to protect you from her. I agree. Say, Falfa, any ideas as to how your sister plans to kill me? Hmm. Shalsha was studying smite evil magic, so she might try that. Really? Smite evil? Is that the powerful magic I heard of that supposedly only works on certain races? Yes, and those races are... Elves, Orcs, and Human Beings. And the more specific the target, the stronger the effects of the magic become. So if one was to cast the spell, Smite Evil Living Thing, it wouldn't do much because the subject is too broad? So I've heard. That magic is difficult and takes decades to learn. <sighs> Falfa, how long have you and Shalsha been alive? Um, maybe... 50 years or so? 50, huh? So they're definitely not human. At that age, there's a chance she could be a powerful magic user. You're right. Then what Smite Evil spell do you think she'll use on me? <laughs> Shasha! Uh, uh. I found you. At last. That is Shasha? Such a dark aura. Shasha! Mama's nice! Please don't hurt her! I intend to get revenge for my death. Shasha, wait! I couldn't have killed you! There's no way! All I've ever killed are- You killed slimes! Tens upon hundreds upon thousands of them! You killed them all! Mm, slimes? Well, yeah, I did. Dead slimes? Huh? That's what we're both made of! The souls of all the slimes you killed combined to form the two of us! You could call a slime spirit- <laughs> Your slime, slime spirit?! Slimes will rest in peace once I have killed you. I can't fight her! Murderous or not, she's a kid. Lady Azusa, you should try your wind magic on her. Let's see what happens. If she truly is a spirit, there's no risk a little wind is going to kill her. She doesn't seem to want to talk things out, so might as well. Wind, hear me. With all your might, I hereby command you. Whoa! Wind, I command you. Disappear! That is definitely smite evil, but how is it powerful enough to counter Lady Azusa? Many years of training enabled me to perfect the spell. It has only one target. Now smite evil Highland Witch. Now smite evil Highland Witch! Yes, of course. It's just for her. The more specific the target, the stronger the effect. If the spell's one and only target is just Lady Azusa... It will negate any and all magic she tries to use. All magic? Yeah, don't believe me? Go ahead, try whatever you want. Red flame, blue flame, and black flame combine and become my power! What? No way! Shalsha, she's been training, studying, and saving her strength for this day ever since she was born. Smite Evil consumes so much mana she's had to, and it will only last an hour. One hour? This isn't good. However, she is only after me, which luckily means that Laika and Falfa won't be harmed. In my past life as a corporate slave, I was trapped then too, and died of exhaustion. I know what happens when you can't escape, so when times are tough, you run! Flight magic, disappear. <laughs> you killed without mercy, you will die. <sighs> Lady Azusa! Oh, Mama! Then again, I've lived for 300 years this go-round. Maybe it's high time I paid the piper. I'm glad I got to meet you both. Been nice knowing you. No, Mama, please don't go! Now prepare to die. Mama! Laika! Get away from her. Don't come any closer. Out of 
out my way, you. Step aside. No chance. It is my duty to protect my mentor. Then I will have to attack you, too. Like a run! Stop! No! Dragon Punch! So I think I won? What? 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 Apparently my little sister focused her magic so specifically on you, it made her super weak against anyone else. Didn't really think that one through, huh? <sighs> oh, you're awake! Where am I? You're in my cottage. <gasps> the Witch of the Highlands! Hi there. When Laika hit you, you passed out, so we brought you back here. I don't need your pity! Smite evil! Witch of the Highlands! <sighs> yeah, I think your time ran out on that spell. The magic's used up, and won't recharge for decades. <sighs> but, the entire purpose of my existence has been to get revenge on the Witch of the Highlands. If I failed, what has my life been for? But, from a different view, it's good that I'm still alive. If I was actually dead, you wouldn't have a reason to go on living anymore. However, as long as I'm alive, you could still get revenge on me. So you still have your purpose, right? <sighs> I suppose that is true. <gasps> it was hurt, so Mama bandaged it. Why would she do that for me? Well, I did kind of give birth to you, didn't <gasps> I? I had to take care of you. Yes, one could call you my mother, but still, you're the one who murdered all those swines. <gasps> Shalsha, you need to stop being stubborn. Falfa, slimes and humans will fight. That's just nature's way. You can hate Mama and want her dead, but that won't change the fact that there are people all over the world killing slimes as we speak. If you listen close, you can hear them die. That's disturbing. But put that aside. You can't get revenge on everyone who's ever killed a slime, so better to let it go. We're lucky. From death we got to be born, so shouldn't we focus on living happily and enjoying our lives? That's more fun, don't you think? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, this issue appears to be resolved. Yeah, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna play out. Hey girls, where have the two of you been uh -huh. living? In a shack deep in the forest that no one ever comes near. Anyone else live there? Just us. I see. Mm. Then why don't you both come and live here? Huh? We've got a few extra rooms, and besides, a mother and her two daughters should live together, shouldn't they? Yeah, I'm in. I want to come live with you, Mama. Right? Don't you? Which of the Highlands? Don't be so formal, okay? I want us to live as a family. Oh, okay then. I will live with you too, Mother. Great, then it's settled. Lady Azusa, to celebrate, why don't we throw the girls a welcome home party? Uh, sure. So, who wants to go to town and get stuff for dinner? Me! Me! Me too. So tell me. Back when you were living in the shack, what did you two do all day? Find evil slimes and get rid of them. Evil slimes? Yes, evil. There are many types of slimes and they can be either evil or good. Uh, quick question, just to make sure. It's okay if I kill evil slimes, right? Sure, that's fine. Killing evil slimes wouldn't bother me, and I doubt Shalsha would have a problem with it. The slimes of Nanterre province are typically dark colored. However, the ones here are quite pale. Light-colored slimes are the ones that are evil. They should be destroyed. The light-colored ones are evil? I didn't know. Also, all slimes have a secret hole that's a weak spot. So long, slime ball! <laughs> See? Wow, they truly are slime spirits. Uh... Don't forget now, I don't want 
you getting lost while you're running errands here. Don't worry. I know it all. We won't get lost. Oh, yeah? Then how about you name all the shops on Main Street? The fourth building from Flatta Southern Gate is Noella's Shoes. Next to that is Mite's Dairy. Across the street from that used to be a general store, but it's been vacant for over a year now. Next to that is Camp Store, which sells seeds and farm equipment, and the owner there recently threw his back out. I just asked for names! And what do you think of town? Looked to me like you were curious about a lot. That street that's a little bit wider used to be a highway. See there? Those are the remnants of when it was once a shrine road. The stone gate was a pilgrim checkpoint in the old kingdom. They are most definitely your daughters, Lady Azusa. I've never met girls so smart. Whatever's going on with them, it's more than smart. And, and now, now let's, let's eat! eat. Um, so yummy, Laika. This omelette you made is amazing! It's good. I'm so glad to hear that. Means the extra effort was worth it. But, um... I made another meal with dragon-sized portions, so again, there's too much food. Mm -mm. Our family has grown by two members, so this amount is perfect. <laughs> Falfa, Shalsha, what's wrong? Don't you like your soup? Mama, do we have to eat our celery soup? Celery doesn't taste good. Mm. <laughs> well, you don't have to eat it, but then no chiffon cake for dessert. <gasps> Good girls, you shouldn't be so picky about what you eat. <laughs> Laika, you haven't eaten your soup either. Uh, yeah, well, uh, my dragon clan, they have this rule that says we must never eat celery. Laika, it isn't good to lie to your teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, Lady Azusa, I'll eat it all. Oh, why must celery have to taste so revolting? At least it's not broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Living a slow, relaxing life alone was nice, but, you know, I think I prefer having folks to come home to. After 300 years killing slimes by myself, I now have a dragon pupil and two slime spirit daughters. <laughs> Mama, shall she and me? We just need one room. We can share. Oh, that means room for more. A dragon, two spirits, should maybe an elf be next? Or how about a demon? <sighs> Well, I could have a slow life with a big family. That would be nice too, in its own way. My slow, quiet life out here in the Highlands has suddenly become a lot more lively. Why? Well, that's crystal clear, because now we're a family of four. Alpha, wanna read with me? Mm-hmm. I love reading with you. You pick such fun books. <laughs> okay, then. Loretta's History of the Rise and Fall of the Elvish People. Volume 3, Chapter 5. The Military Policy Failures of the Clar Dynasty of the Province of Harant. Wow. That's fun reading! Kronke, first ruler of the Clar Dynasty, amassed his own private army. The army grew in strength, eventually dominating the elves of Harant. In 405... Elves, huh? Policy. Don't think I've met any of them. I do for you, Miss Elf. I, uh, well, there's someone after me, and I was, uh, hoping that you could protect me, please. Not hard to guess who might be after an elf. I haven't seen any orcs around here. It's not an orc! Great Witch, I need you to save me from the High Demon Beelzebub! I'm not home. Why a demon is after you. 
It's a long story. You see, I'm one of the most successful apothecaries in Harant. I discovered components of mushrooms and plants that were exceptionally nutritious and used them to make an alcoholic drink called Nutri Spirit. Nutri what? Helper of Nutri Spirit. It can clear your mind, strengthen your body, and help you power through your toughest days. Helper of Nutri Spirit. Yeah! Charged up hustle! So it's an energy drink. They were great when I used to pull all-nighters, but now... Nutri-Spirit was a huge hit. It sold out everywhere. Stores could barely keep it on the shelves. I built a factory in town, but production still couldn't keep up with demand. My energy drink was that popular. Well, yeah, I got that. And how is this all related to Beelzebub? Apparently she brought some Nutri-Spirit and drank it. But something in it turned out to be poisonous to demons. After drinking it, she got a high fever and almost ended up going straight to hell. Why would hell be a bad thing for a demon? So you're saying that Beelzebub wants to kill you because she thinks you poisoned her? That's right. People said she was fuming that she'd kill whoever made that vile stuff. Then they chased me out of town. So I can't go back to where I'm from and I have nowhere else to go. Please, old great witch, you have to help me. Take pity on a poor elf entrepreneur. Mama, I feel so bad for the elf lady. It's awful she got chased out and can't go home. Mm. <sighs> All right, I'll help, but I'm not promising thank to... You, thank you, thank you, <laughs> No glomping! <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. I'll keep you safe, but I am not fighting Beelzebub. When you go out in public, I want you to wear this robe. If anyone asks who you are, just say you're another pupil of Azusa, Witch of the Highlands. Uh, oh, thank you, Master, for such a great disguise! Oh, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. This outfit seems to be a bit tight on me. Uh, yeah, I think so. Halkara, do you get a lot of comments on your chest? Not really. Maybe $7.50 a year? <laughs> That's like two a day! All beings who are wicked at heart, you will get caught in this net and become incapacitated. This barrier itself will judge your evil and act with a will of its own. Huh? Not bad. I think that should do the trick. Our Highlands home is now protected. Beelzebub can't get in. Thank you, my great master. <sighs> and, and now, now let's, let's eat. eat. What's the matter? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just when I was busy with work, I ate takeout. And then after I was chased out of Harand, I survived on nuts and berries and whatever else I found in the forest. I can't remember the last time I had a home-cooked meal with other people. Cheer up, Halkara. Don't cry. Here, have some of this raspberry jam. It's so sweet. It's my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> I hope you don't mind helping me gather medicinal plants and herbs. I bet what grows around here is a lot different than where you're from. Oh yes, quite! Oh, oh my, here we go! This is a Dawn King, and here's a greater round! And these guys are rolling rat mushrooms! Are mushrooms all you're picking? Well, fungi are my special specialty! You must be careful, though. Some of these are poisonous if eaten raw and can make you sick or worse. But take this one, for example. If you boil it for about 10 minutes, all of the toxins break down and disappear. Then, they're completely safe to cook with. Really? Although some who cook with this mushroom don't boil out of the poison because it makes them feel all warm and fuzzy. So it basically makes you insane? Wow, we gathered lots more plants and herbs than I expected. Thanks for the help! Anytime! I'm glad that you enjoyed learning all about mushrooms. Oh, speaking of which, it looks like these are ready. I recommend trying them with elven sauce. It's a savory sauce made from fermented beans. Smells like soy sauce to me. Huh? Uh, they're delicious! And it is soy sauce! Please, please, eat as much as you like. I never knew there were so many varieties of delicious edible mushrooms. Hmm. Elves didn't live in the forest for centuries without learning a thing or two. <laughs> I'd love it if you would teach the Flata villagers all about mushrooms. That way they could make better use of all the forest has to offer. That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> I want Laika and my daughters eating mushrooms too. Happy to help with whatever you need. 
Polkara, you seem to be laughing a lot. I know, I know that I am, but I can't seem to stop for some reason. <laughs> Hold on. The mushrooms you just ate, were they in the poisonous ones? <laughs> what are you talking about? No way! I'm a mushroom expert! <laughs> Mushrooms with wavy stripes aren't poisonous. Orange pencil mushrooms aren't poisonous either. Oh, but triangle chestnut mushrooms are very poisonous. <laughs> so there were poisonous ones in the mix. Oh, yeah, you're right. These were supposed to be for medicine, not to cook with. Maybe keep them separate. I don't think that was one of the ones I tried. Luck of the draw, I suppose. Then you'll be okay, but I did eat one. What do they do? Make you sick? Not exactly. Aww. There's a stimulant in them that makes you laugh. <sighs> and they can also be a powerful aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. The effects are only temporary, but they make you want to do things that are kind of... naughty. <laughs> huh? Why are you backing up, Lady Azaza? <laughs> because I suspect all those poisons are making you lose control! Master, <laughs> wanna try something fun with me? Please! Come on, I'm on fire right now. Take an ice bath! Don't be nervous. I promise I'll make you feel really good. That's not what I'm worried about! Oh, please. So, uh, did something happen while you two were out gathering herbs? It did not. Came close, but I fixed it with magic first. I am so sorry. I made an embarrassing mistake. Please accept this meal as my apology. Yummy. I love the seasoning. Oh. oh, oh, oh. This is great. <gasps> when you wrap wavy striped mushrooms before cooking them, they are so good. You sure bounced back. Now that you're here, we'll get to enjoy even more tasty dishes. <laughs> Thank you. That means so much. all the evil slime so quickly. I have been doing it for centuries. Now, why don't you give it a try? <laughs> I managed to get one. Wow, check her out. Thank you for the vision before my eyes. Do you always get this much attention? Oh? Yeah, it's sort of in my fate. But just because yours are small doesn't mean you shouldn't be confident, too. What? Mine are plenty big, thank you! Uh, but, um, there do seem to be quite a few women staring at you as well. Ah! Oh, an adventurer who was passing through town just put that up this morning. I'm done for! A wanted poster? Yes, ma'am. And that is one hell of a reward, isn't it? Guess if you've got money, you've got money to burn. And if you don't, then you don't. If I wanted, a female elven apothecary who hails from the province of Harant, inventor and distributor of the alcoholic beverage Nutra Spirit, she goes by the name of Halkara. Notable features, blonde hair, large chest, and tight buttocks. A reward of 15 million in gold is offered to the person or persons who can bring her in alive. Reward paid by the demon Beelzebub. Sounds like Beelzebub's made her move. Halkara's physical description isn't too detailed, so that's a plus. But honestly, I think it's just a matter of time. <sighs> Laika, can you evacuate the girls to someplace safe and far away from here? Count on me! Mother, I want to fight with you. That's sweet. <clears throat> but I would rather have you safe. Mother... Shalsha, we have to be good and do as we're told. You may think fighting's helpful, but if Mama's worried about you and gets distracted, it's not. Oh, good point. I understand. I knew you would. Huh? <laughs> You're both good girls. I'll be okay. We should all hurry and get going. I'll change into my dragon form and fly the girls to safety. <clears throat> I hope the barrier I put up is enough to keep Beelzebub out. Please be alright. Please don't let anything happen. Nutri-spirit and I feel like I have the energy to fight all night! 
That stuff caused this. How can you drink it? The whole reason I developed Nutri-Spirit was to create a drink that would make people feel better. And of course, that includes myself. You've been drinking it. How does it make you feel? Huh? No, I haven't had any. Huh? Then who drank those? I don't know, but it wasn't me. Halkara, did you eat all our dinner by yourself? What? No, of course not. This, this is a joke, right? I wouldn't joke at a time like this. Tell me. Yes, what? Is Beelzebub a fly? She is. In fact, the Lord of the Flies is another one of her names. Because I'm starting to wonder. Mm -hmm. Of course that's not Beelzebub. It's just a filthy little fly. You really think an evil demon would disguise herself as a lowly, disgusting insect that likes to spend time on horse poop? Who are you calling lowly and disgusting? <laughs> Please don't change your voice like that. It's scary, Master. I hate to break it to you, but it wasn't me. Then who spoke just now? I did. <laughs> I will assume that I need an introduction. What with being a lowly insect and all. <laughs> lowly was a poor choice of words, a oh great evil one. I don't know what my tiny brain was thinking. I am but a speck of dust in your terrifying shadow. And it is none other than that speck of dust that I came all this way to find. <laughs> Beelzebub, have you been here in the house this entire time? Of course. I arrived when Halkra did and made myself right at home. Why wait until now to reveal yourself? I wanted to be absolutely certain this Halkra was the elf I was looking for. I also enjoy buzzing around houses in fly form. There's really no other way I'd rather spend my vacation. Well, to each their own. <laughs> My dear elf, I've gone to great pains to find you. But now that I finally have, I must say it was all worth it. Please, spare me, great one. I'll do anything you want me to. Oh my. Anything you say? Because that's what I heard. <laughs> Halkara is uh, my pupil. Any dealings with her must go through me. Thank you, master. So what you're saying is, you're going to stand in my way? Well, my pupil here seems terrified of you. I'll have to ask you to leave. As a demon, being told to leave just makes me more inclined to stay. Or is it you actually wish to fight me? <laughs> that is perfect. I can't tell you how long it's been since I've had a good fight. We fight fair and square or not at all? Of course, fair is fair. Oh, this is where you want to do it? You sure? A mere human is bound to regret defying the High Demon Beelzebub. Soon you will see just how terrifying the power of the Lord of the- Oops, the barrier. Oh no! Uh... Cheater! Weren't you the one who insisted upon fair and square? What the hell was that? Um, I, uh... Sort of forgot about the barrier, but I also didn't realize you could hit it from below. Sorry. Wait, you just forgot? Stupid barrier messing up all my fun. <sighs> now let's fight. You sure? You seem exhausted. I'm still good to go. <clears throat> I feel dizzy and cold. I can't stop shivering. And I feel nauseous too. I'm gonna pass up. Whoa, whoa. spell. Huh? God of the earth, be your chaotic power, good or evil. I ask you, bestow that power unto me, your servant, so I am able to heal this. Wait, hey, so is a healing spell something you can even use on a demon? Uh, I think so. I don't see why not. I'll try then, but if this goes all wrong, it's your fault. Uh, please, please don't let anything go wrong. She looks better. Her color's coming back. Great. So it's gonna work. <sighs> Look, Master. She's waking up. Welcome back. You okay? Yep. The nausea and dizziness are better now. And the chills are gone. Phew. Well, that's good. Just <laughs> a little more rest then and you should be fine. It seems I misjudged you. 
I initially thought you a coward, but it turns out you're quite remarkable. I couldn't just let you die on me. I'd feel guilty about it for centuries. <laughs> and once I fully recover, I want to drink more Nutri-Spirit. Huh? But hey, didn't that stuff poison you before? Who told you that? Everyone in Arant was saying you got a fever and nearly died the day after you first tried drinking it. Ah. Well, I did get sick the next day, but it wasn't from Nutri-Spirit. I just drank some while I was working, and then wound up pulling an all-nighter. So I wasn't poisoned, I overworked myself. Huh? I love your Nutri-Spirit drink. The devil himself loves it, all the demons love it, they can't get enough. It's why I came looking for you, I want you to keep making more. So, I just made a mistake? Oh wow! What a relief! <coughs> mistake! I'm so sorry! Time, Time to, to eat. eat! Thank goodness it was just a misunderstanding. I went and made another boneheaded mistake. Yeah, but I didn't have to fight Beelzebub, so it's all good. And she didn't want to kill you after all. Now you can make Nutri-Spirit again. Oh, speaking of Nutri-Spirit, I've been thinking of relocating my whole factory and moving it here. Move it from her aunt? How come? Even if it was all a mistake, the townspeople did chase me out and abandon me. Plus, the corporate tax rate in Harant is more than 40%. 40%?! But in truth, the real reason I want to move my business is so I can stay here with you. Yeah, well, we've got enough room here, so you can. But you'll still need to help out with the cooking and cleaning. Of course! I'll be glad to do my share. Sounds like fun. Can I stay too? Beelzebub! What are you doing back here? We have unfinished business. Lady Asusa, level 99 Highland Witch. I want a no barrier rematch. Uh huh. Or not. You can just invite me when you're doing other fun stuff instead. I can teach you a spell to summon me. It's super easy. <sighs> Lord Beelzebub, would you like some tea? Thank you. Maybe ask you some questions? Hmm? Sure. Ask me anything. Tell us about Demon Society. What's it like? The same family has ruled for a number of centuries. So conflict is quite rare. So are you married? What? Don't be ridiculous, child! I am not! Only races that age quickly get married! <sighs> Say, I think one of those two might make a good daughter. You think I could adopt one of them? Thank you for the offer, but I'm afraid not. Lord Beelzebub, do you take other forms besides a fly? Could you stay a fly forever? Well, I guess I could, but... It's getting busier around here. A dragon, slime spirits, an elf, and now a demon to boot. Quite a strange crew, but it's starting to feel like a family. Sort of. <laughs> and amid the hustle and bustle, I still find time to take it easy. Yep, this isn't bad. I could live this way forever. But of course, as soon as I start to feel settled, the very next day... I have to return to Nanterre. Everything falls apart! Chat, how many hearts have you broken? None. No, oh, come on, you're 300. You must have at least had one romance. Nope, none means none. I was just curious. I haven't had much of a love life yet at my age. At your age? And exactly how old are you? 15 plus? Two. And about 2,500 months. That makes you over 200. By elf standards, I'm still considered quite young and just coming into my own. Alpha Shell Shahey. Anyone you have crushes on or love? I love my mama. My answer is the same as hers. My <laughs> sweet daughters! That's great, but I meant romantic love. Breakfast! Come get it while it's hot. Huh? Huh? Laika, you've done it again! All right then, everybody. Now let's, let's eat. eat. Hold on, I need to tell you. Huh? I have to return to my home in Nanterre. You can't go! How can you even think about leaving us? That's so sad! I'll miss you! I'll miss you too. Laika! Why do you want to move out? Has something been bothering you? Move
move out. Oh no. I know that I'm your teacher and you're my pupil, but I don't think of you like that. We're all a family. Don't move out. Without you, there'll be a big hole. I'm not. I'm just going home for a short visit. You see, my older sister is about to get married, so I'll only be gone a little while to attend the wedding. Oh, a wedding? Would you like to come along? I'd be honored to have all of you there with me. <gasps> I'd love to! And so off we went. Laika took her dragon form and we headed for Mount Roko, where her family lives. What an amazing view, huh? Don't you think? Uh-oh. That's it. There you go. Get it all out. Air sickness happens. There's no reason to be embarrassed. <laughs> I think I'm better. You sure you feel better now? If not, don't push yourself. You're such a kind and considerate person, Master. If you want, you could give me a kiss. That's certain to make me feel all better. <laughs> Absolutely not. We've reached Nanterre. Soon we'll land. That's Mount Roko up ahead. Here we are. Just in time for the rehearsal dinner. Oh my goodness, so many dragons! More specifically, they are red dragons. A dragon subspecies and not considered monsters. Uh -huh. Great to see you, Laika. Welcome back. Whoa! Your wings look beautiful, lovely as ever. While our wings are important, it's knowing what we can improve in ourselves that really matters. Laika, that's wonderful advice. You're so wise. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm at a school for rich girls? Oh, pardon me, Lady Azusa. These girls are underclassmen I went to school with. <laughs> they don't look like juniors to me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to introduce uh... you to my family. They're all huge! Enormous! I agree. Careful not to step on any plates, or you may be mistaken for a small treat. No way! Put me down, please! I'm a guest of the bride to be, not an appetizer! <laughs> Father, Mother, I have returned. It's so good to see you. Welcome back. We missed you. Good to see you, too. Hope your wings aren't tired. <laughs> Dad's got quite a funny bone. Father, settle down. I brought guests. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Our daughter mentions you often in her letters to us. We hope she hasn't caused you any trouble. No trouble at all. In fact, quite the opposite. She's been a big help. Laika. Oh? Layla. So glad you made it. This is my sister and her fiancé. I'm Layla. Pleased to meet you. I'm Azusa. Congratulations and thank you for having us. I'm Hakura! So just how did you two get together? She's really into love stories. We were childhood friends, but then we lost touch. Eighty years later, we reconnected, fell in love, and he proposed. Eighty years later? Wow! <laughs> Today has been such a peaceful celebration. I hope it stays that way till we're done. Are you worried that something unfortunate might happen later? Yes. You see, not all dragon tribes get along with each other. Sometimes, dragons from other clans crash weddings and make trouble. I'm pretty sure he just jinxed it. So much for peace. They're here. Blue dragons! Freeze breath! Oh, it's so cold! Those are the blue dragons from Hype Province. They're barbaric and shameless, spewing their icy breath everywhere. You red dragons. I heard you were celebrating a wedding today. That really pisses me off, so we came to ruin it! That's Flattort. She's their leader. She's notorious. They call her the Bully Queen of the Blue Dragons. Sounds like she's a pain in the ass. How dare you get married? You're barely more than 300! Well, here I am, well over 400, and I'm still single! That's the worst excuse I've ever heard! Uh, and I'm going to ruin a lot more than just this rehearsal dinner! I've sent some of my Blue Dragons to your precious volcano to freeze it solid! Father! We have no choice. If they want to fight, then we'll give it to them! Mama, help. I'm scared. We should get away from this place. We'll be all right, girls. Just leave it to me. Halkara, we're leaving now. Ding! Hey, what are you doing? The last thing my late grandpa said was, 
When a dragon's angry, play dead or he'll kill you. Grandpa was wrong! My grandpa was wrong! and rejuvenate. 
So, uh, did you do this? Yes. I was just strolling through town when these idiots landed and proudly announced they were here to cause trouble. That didn't fly with me. So I cast demon magic to weaken them and keep them stuck in place. You beat five dragons? By yourself with just one spell? I am a high demon who is over 3,000 years old. I simply never lose. And our fight, <sighs> Little Miss Witch, doesn't count because you went and cheated. If you hadn't, then I would have won. No human can rival my strength. Beelzebub! <sighs> you just saved Mount Rocco and the Red Dragons from all-out catastrophe! <sighs> Thank you! Get off me! I didn't want to save anything! Those blue dragons were acting cocky, so I taught them a lesson! Sniff, sniff. Oh, Beelzebub, you smell so good! Well, naturally, I just got out of the hot springs. Wait, what am I saying? Forget about that! Stop touching me! I was so scared, Mama! Me too! Was everything all right up at the volcano? Mm. Yes, all thanks to Beelzebub. Stop that! I told you I was only here for the hot springs. Oh, fine. In spite of that, it's time we finish this. Hey, Falafel Tart! My name is Flatort! I'm a blue dragon, not a food group! Look, Flatty Mort, just take your human form and we've got stuff to discuss. There, I'm human. Are you happy now? This is the bill for all the destruction you caused today. You will pay it in full. Yeah! It, it can't have been that much! This is for all of it, including punitive damages for pain and suffering. Fail to pay this restitution and you will never move again. Is that what you want? No, I don't want that either. Oh, fine. I will agree to pay the restitution. Good. Now we're making some headway. But negotiations aren't over yet. Oh. There's more we need to talk about. On top of the monetary compensation, I want you to agree to a treaty. Between us dragons? That's right. An agreement of non-aggression between the blue dragons and the red dragons. Which means further bullying and harassment are out of the question. No bullying? But that's the only thing I live for! You can refuse, <sighs> but you'll be glued to that spot forever. Do you really want to feel like you're stuck at work indefinitely with no chance of ever going home? Yes! Your smile is scaring me! So then we're agreed, right? Yes, I agree, I agree. Will you accept my apology and let me get up? Great, our talks are over. The treaty is in place. Now the Red Dragons of Mount Roko can have peace. Lady Azusa, first you fight and now this? I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Beelzebub, mind handling the rest of it? No problem. <clears throat> Myself and the Highland Witch affirm this treaty, meaning we bear witness it has been agreed to by all parties involved. If either side should resume aggressions and break this pact, it will be bad. <laughs> Sorry, I never should have come here and done this. Beelzebub, you're my hero. You saved the day. Only you would place the Lord of the Flies in such an unnatural position. From now on, I'll count on you to help out all the time. Why did you hug me so constantly? So everyone takes their human forms for the reception, huh? Oh yes, this makes it much more cost-effective to eat our fill. I think I'm full already. Here, sit. Take it easy. Rest for a bit. Thanks, Falfa. How sweet. I'm so proud of you, Falfa. You're such a caring big sister. <laughs> Master, you gotta try this. Dragon alcohol is so much stronger than elf booze. Uh, Hulkara, you've been doing a lot of eating and drinking. You should be careful. Oh, Dory, I'll be just fine. Besides, I already puked my guts out earlier. That's my point! <sighs> that elf. She's got her Nutri-Spirit energy drink going for her, but absolutely nothing else. Lady Azusa. Oh. Wow! Layla, you look so beautiful! Thanks for everything you did. Because of you, we were able to go ahead with our ceremony. We're very grateful. Oh, really? No thanks needed. All I did was lend a hand. Your display oh. of gratitude is most proper. Keep up this kind of adoration. And I will gladly offer my assistance again in the future. Now, now. Don't act so high and mighty. Why not? I am Beelzebub. I am high and mighty. <laughs> oh, Laika, sister. Looks like you've made some wonderful friends. That makes me so happy. Now I won't worry about you missing me when I move away. Big sister. I'm so happy for you, Layla. Thank you, Laika. Love you. 
I love you. Hey, Layla, I meant to ask. Regarding our new place, what do you think about adding an extra room? This is for you. Take it. Congratulations. I wish the both of you a happy life. I don't know what to say. I wanted to spoil your day. But since I lost, I thought I should give you my blessing. The blue dragon bully. Maybe she isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Thank you, Flatord. We'll be sure to live extra happily just for you, since you'll never marry. Don't put it that way! I can get married if I want! I just haven't done it yet! No, no. Didn't you come in peace to give us your blessing? <laughs> Forget that! I hope you get divorced next week! The relationship between Red and Blue Dragon still isn't perfect. Yeah, judging by this, it's got a ways to go. too much, but it was all so good. I hope Halkara's okay. She was hitting the alcohol hard. Um, Lady Azusa, can I ask a favor? Huh? Would you mind if I laid my head in your lap? My sister was the pretty one, and I was always the athletic one, a tomboy. But of everyone in the family, I was always the best fighter. But when I got in trouble with our parents, or something made me upset, I'd lie in her lap and she would make it better. Now that your sister's married, are you afraid she can't do this anymore? Yes. Oh. Well, if she's not around, I'll make it better now and then. You... will? This time is a special treat for me. Thank you, Lady Azusa. Is something up? Uh, uh, what's she doing now? Halkara, wake up! Halkara! When you drink booze, I shouldn't drink you. Uh, are you calling me a lightweight? I'll drink you under the table! This damn elf. What a mess. She's nothing but trouble. Uh, uh, go. No. I'm sick. If you puke on me, I will rip you apart and roast every piece of you. Oh, hold it in! Beelzebub, you don't have to do that! She's had enough. It's time for her to leave the party. But since she's obviously not going to make it home, why don't you spend the night at the Hot Spring Resort? It's lovely. I'm staying there myself. A Hot Spring, huh? That does sound tempting. I wanna go! I wanna go! The Hot Springs are famous! They have seven different types of mineral baths, excluding sulfur and acid. The soothing waters are said to lower one's blood pressure. I'd be happy to make the arrangements for us, if you do want to stay. I guess there's no reason why we can't stay the night. So let's do it! Yay! <laughs> I have to admit, as annoying as you can be sometimes, I do enjoy being around you people. It tends to be fun. Well, whether you mean to or not, I appreciate how you always seem to be helping and looking out for us. You're kind of like our big sister. You think of me as a big sister? Because I feel more like a demon godmother you use when it's convenient. I have my two sweet daughters, <laughs> Laika as the little sister, mm -hmm. and big sister Beelzebub. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty nice family, right? <laughs> hey, you forgot about me! I'm here too! Don't I get to be part of the family? Oh, of course, sorry. Let's see. What part of the family are you? The troublemaking pet might work. What? The family pet? Come on, that's not fair at all! <laughs> <laughs> Master, you're me! Okay, you're not the pet. <laughs> Thank you.
something is off. Master, I know my usual day to cook is the day after tomorrow. But would you mind swapping days with me this week? Sure, that's fine. But why? I, uh, have some things to do in Nasuka Day. <sighs> Short and sweet. What does this mean? Is Halkara intending to move out? Of course. She can't move! <sighs> I know, but if that's what she's chosen to do... I am back! And I am starving! Huh? Halkara! We love you! We wish you the best in your new home. We're gonna miss you. Valkyra, <coughs> <coughs> I don't want you to go. <coughs> Falsa, please don't cry. Remember, we're happy for her. Master, uh, what's all this for? Is there somewhere I'm going? Pico, pico. Uh, wait, so you're not moving out? I don't have plans to move. But you said you had things to do in Nascute. Of course! That's the town where my new factory is! Huh? What? Hey, I'm back! Uh, you must be busy. You keep getting home late. <sighs> Are you working too hard? No, no. All I need is a little nutri spirit and that'll perk me right up. Though recently I have been drinking a lot more of it just to get through the day. That's not good! Not at all! Work ends when the sun goes down! That's when you come home from now on! I'd like to, but I have to work harder. A ghost? Yeah, apparently it's been showing up and haunting the factory non-stop. All the locals are terrified and don't want to work there anymore. They can't get a single employee to keep working. So that's the reason. This ghost keeps coming back? It may be a bound ghost. Scientifically, ghosts are actually known as separated spirits. Bound spirits are a subtype. They are inescapably tethered to the place where they died, so they can't leave. I'd say it's one of those. So, you're saying this ghost, or bound spirit, it died there? What do I do? Master, will you get rid of it for me? Huh? Well, uh, all ghosts kind of terrify me. No, oh, please, Lady Agusa, you have to help. If you don't help, I'll end up running the entire factory alone and might just work myself to death. Maybe you won't wind up dead. <laughs> Fine, I'll help you. I'll go check it out tomorrow. Thank you, Master. Thank you so much. I owe you one. There's one thing, though. Before I do this, I'm going to need some help. More help? What is this circle thing? It's supposed to be for performing summoning magic. I don't know if it'll work, but here goes. Vosano sanon, uji shidao, beyani enrila. Beelzebub? We do. 
You're our only hope. <laughs> oh my. Well, uh, so one ghost is a mere trifle for someone like me. So all right, take me to this factory, and I'll break it into smithereens. Oh, I suggest we wait until tonight, because at night the ghosts will then be visible. <laughs> then why did you summon me now? Yeah, I can imagine ghosts being in there. I mean, even that cat statue looks kind of creepy. Really? I thought it was cute. That's why I put it there. Halkara has strange taste. Enough babbling outside already. Let's go in. Wait, just like that? No fear at all? Looks like I chose the right helper, huh? Aww, it sure is dark in here. I really hope nothing shows up tonight. Something better show up. Otherwise, why did you summon me and drag me here? <laughs> hey, Beelzebub. What is it? I'm scared. Hold my hand. I can't believe I'm about to say this. But if you really want, okay. What about me, Master? I'm scared too. Can I hold your hand? Palkara. Is there some place this ghost tends to appear? Yeah, in the room up ahead, on your left. Then that room will be the primary focus of our search. You sure? Because I would really prefer not to go in there. Me neither. Why don't we start somewhere else? <sighs> would you quit acting so wimpy? Stop! Secretary. Which means I have the authority to commandeer this factory and repurpose it to process horse manure. Don't test her, ghost! She'll do it! Wait, Lord Beelzebub, but this is my factory! Stay invisible and you'll be haunting horse crap. I'm counting to ten, so come out. One, two, ten! You skipped three through nine! Ah! I see you! Got her now. Quick, give me some light. Hold still, you. Stop struggling. No way. Let me go. So, do you have a name? It's Rosalie. My house once stood where this factory is, and that's where I killed myself. And she's still mad. Uh, so just why do you haunt this factory? Why do you think? This is the only place I can be! Centuries ago, I was offered the chance to marry into a well-known noble family. I never thought I could be part of a match, but I was pretty and polite, and had a sterling reputation. But it turned out not to be true. My rotten parents lied to me! They were selling me off for chump change to some mean brute! That's awful, you poor thing. Well, that's all in the past. That's, um, a very sad story. But did you really used to be polite? Being a ghost for hundreds of years, I've become a bit... cheeky. Ugh. It sounds believable to me. A smug teen betrayed by her mom and dad? Of course she's going to be spiteful. Oh, shut up! This was my home! No outsiders can be here! That's why I've haunted it. It was my way of defending it, until you guys showed up. Rosalie, do you really want to stay here haunting this place forever? 
No, not really. Ah, oh, well in that case, I'd be happy to exercise you. It'll be quick and painless. Don't do it! What? Why not? I can help her move on to the next life. It's very simple and won't leave a trace. No way! I don't want to cease to exist! I see. If you want to stay, then you might as well stay. Really? But aren't I a problem? Halkara, thoughts? You, uh, don't have to go, but can you not stay here? I've tried to move a couple of times, but I can't. I can't seem to get out of here. Hmm, this must be what Shalsha was talking about when she said bound spirits can't leave the place where they die. I know how to resolve this. How? We demons have studied spirits extensively. According to the latest research, if a ghost possesses someone once, a single time, they will forever after be able to go where that person goes. Possesses someone? The ghost uses a living body as a vessel to relocate. The best bodies for possession are those with many weak points. Those who are soft, feeble-minded, and easily controlled. Uh... Whoa... Huh? Can I look now? 
The intensity of this wind has me concerned.
can't thank you enough. I didn't think happiness was possible after I lost my life. But now, I'm so glad I died. I'm not so sure you should say that. Hey, Rosalie! Huh? Huh? Could you clean my upstairs windows? Oh, and mine as well. <laughs> no problem. I'll clean the upstairs windows of the whole street. Aw, oh, look at her go. If she keeps this up, she just might become the happiest ghost in the world. <laughs> Asusa, I am here to congratulate you. The Demon Medal of Honor, one of the highest accolades in our realm, has been awarded to you. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Beelzebub. Is that the only reason you showed up out of the blue? You should be thrilled, Asusa. This isn't just any award. It's very prestigious and bestowed only upon those who have made a difference and brought hope to the world. You recently helped end a conflict between the Red Dragons and the Blue Dragons that's been ongoing for generations. Thanks to you, they now have a permanent treaty and peace. In recognition of your outstanding efforts, you have been awarded the Peace Prize. I'm just happy that everything worked out in the end. You are going to accept it, huh? aren't you? Um... What an amazing honor for you, Lady Azusa. Way to go, sister! So awesome! I'm so very proud to be your daughter. You are? All right, then I graciously accept. Actually, you'll accept your award in three weeks. That's when they're holding the ceremony. I will escort you there. You're all invited. Wait, where's this taking place? In the Demon Realm. Where else would a Demon Award ceremony take place? The Demon Realm? <laughs> There is nothing to worry about. Most demons are well-bred ladies and gentlemen. In the past, there were some who wanted to destroy humanity, but they're gone. Just follow the basic rules of etiquette and you'll all be fine. The basic rules of etiquette? Uh... What is it? I've got a bad feeling about this demon ceremony. I don't want to go. Would it be all right if I suddenly developed a stomach ache that day? You can't fake sick. Wouldn't that be lying? No, no, I don't intend to fake anything. I just kind of have a sense that my stomach is going to be upset that day. You should give up on playing sick. If you skip out on the ceremony, the demons will be highly insulted and angry. <laughs> then I will be there! Yes, ma'am! I will gather my resolve like someone about to leap from the Kiala Spire! I guess that's a saying in this world. It probably means take the plunge or jump off the stage at Kiyomizu. Lady Azusa, <laughs> hmm? any idea what we should wear to the ceremony? I think what we wore to your sister's wedding might work. Uh, about the ceremony. Hmm? Being such a prestigious event, do you think it's appropriate for a ghost like me to attend? Huh? Of course you should attend. Don't forget you are a part of this family now. <gasps> oh, thank you, sister! Though that means you'll need a formal dress, won't you? Want to go to the village and get one? Well, I'd like to, but I'm a ghost, so I can't. I've never changed my clothes. I'm not sure how to. Huh? You can't take that off? Huh? I'm not even able to touch it. This poses an unexpected problem. Think perhaps there's a store that may sell clothing for ghosts? A business like that would not be possible. Because ghosts don't have money, so they couldn't pay you. Spoken like a business owner. If you need a ghost specialist, I actually happened to meet one recently. As you may know, ghosts are spirits of the deceased that have remained here in the world of the living. Their appearance is similar to how they look when they were alive. What you think is clothing is actually part of the spirit itself, so changing a spirit's clothes is impossible. Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Shalsha knows people like this? So your clothes are actually just a memory from back when you were alive? That makes sense. I think I did wear dresses like this a lot. If it's mental, perhaps it's just a matter of you visualizing wearing other clothes. Yeah, maybe, but I doubt that alone would be enough, huh? Thank you, girls, but it's okay, really. If I can't, then I can't. I don't mind sticking with this dress, it's just fine. But it's not. Just because you can tolerate something doesn't mean that it's all right. Putting up with something you don't like isn't always a good thing, Rosalie. And besides, don't you want to fit in and wear a formal dress to the ceremony like the rest of us? Uh huh? Yes, I would prefer to wear one. If possible. <laughs> Thought so? Then let's keep trying and we'll find a way. But how? It's not like we can just change my clothes with magic. Huh? 
Oh, yeah! I'm a witch, and supposedly one of the skills I have is create magic. If a spell to change a ghost's clothes doesn't exist, then I will have to make one. Time to put another skill to the test. Uh, it is a very pretty dress, but how is showing it to me gonna help? I mean, I can't put it on. Rosalie, I want you to look hard at this, study every detail, and fix it in your mind. Then picture yourself wearing it at a party where you're happy and having the time of your life, okay? Sister, I'm dead. Plus, doesn't the make-a-wish in your heart and just believe thing only work in fairy tales? A ghost is telling me what to believe in? Uh, never mind! Rosalie! Just believe in me! Okay, sister. I'll believe. You're working hard to find a solution, so I'll do my part and trust you! Are you ready? Yes, Sister Azusa! Give it your best shot! Realms of life and death, let this light shine in the darkness between you, and allow my outstretched hand to reach through the living world to what lies beyond! Transform Rosalie into this dress in her mind! serves as a transport to the demon realm. Oh, there's a humongous building on its back. Are we dreaming? This is unreal. How cool. It's like a luxury cruise liner. Sort of, but not entirely. Come, let me show you the inside. This is the VIP room. <gasps> this is the larger of the two baths and the warmer one. Vanya, what are you doing here when you're on the clock? Uh oh, sorry, Lord Beelzebub. Who's that? Greetings, honored guests. So pleased to meet you. I am Vanya, the Leviathan. You need to get dressed and then introduce yourself. Oh, sorry again, Lord Beelzebub. Anyway, I will explain the baths now. This one is actually a demon spring. A spring? Like a demon hot spring? Correct. It's thicker than <gasps> water, so feels good on the skin, and is great for beauty. But be forewarned, if non-demons stay in longer than a few hours, they melt. What? They do? <laughs> Don't be terrified. You'd have to bathe for hours, and no one soaks for that long. Halkara, please be careful not to use this bath by yourself. Come on. Don't any of you trust me even a little bit? Nice to meet you properly. Wait, aren't we on a Leviathan? We are. Currently, we're on my sister, Fatla. We each take turns. One of us flies while the other serves our guests. And while her sister's flying, Vanya will be handling your meals. Today's menu will feature several fine courses of poultry. They'll be accompanied by the choicest first-class herbs and vegetables. 
Oh, wow, I can hardly wait! And for your earlier misstep, you will write a lengthy and detailed letter of apology. Please, no! Be more lenient with me this time! <sighs> no way! Write your sorry! <laughs> Incredible! What a view! Those buildings all look so tiny! The land goes on forever! I believe this concludes our grand tour. If there's anything else you need, just let Bonnie know. <laughs> Thanks, Beelzebub. But traveling in style like this is more than I deserve. Don't talk uh, nonsense. Uh, of course you deserve this. What you accomplished was remarkable. Sure. You do realize that you basically ended a war. And for that, your name will go down in history. You're a hero. You're allowed to be a bit more proud of yourself. <laughs> I think I'll just focus on trying not to embarrass myself at the ceremony. You have no ambition, do you? And now, dinner is served! Twenty different vegetables went into this salad course. Goodness, such fine cuisine right from the start! Huh? Mm -mm. Wow, it's spectacular! I've never tasted anything like it! Next, we have a potage made from thick-shelled bean mash. First appetizer, cockatrice eggs and lettuce. Followed by a rock egg omelet. Huh? Mm, so fluffy! Vanya, this might be the single greatest egg dish I've ever eaten in all my life! I never knew an omelet could taste so good! Sorry. I'll have to seriously improve my cooking game. Of course it's going to taste better. The ingredients we use cost a thousand times more. That? Much more? Using such ingredients, it's impossible to make bad food. If Vanya did, she'd be punished. That's true! I can't slack off under Lord Beelzebub, not even a little bit! Yet I caught you taking a bath while you were still on the clock! Vanya? It was all delicious, thank you! <sighs> the food was great, and this bath is great, too! I was a bit nervous about going to the land of demons, but now I'm not scared anymore. I'm starting to feel a lot less afraid, too. This may turn out to be a nice trip without anything bad happening at all. Hey, don't say that now! If you're not careful, you could jinx it and then things will go wrong! Master, you are so superstitious! <laughs> We're flying over an empty wilderness. Guess the demon realm's still a ways off. The stars seem close. But even though it's like I can almost touch them, I'm still nowhere near heaven. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry, did I wake you? <sighs> no, you didn't wake me. I just woke up and thought I'd take a bath. You went the wrong way. This is the balcony. I'm so sleepy that I must have made a mistake. So what are you up to, Rosalie? I'm just enjoying the great scenery. Hmm. It's nighttime. There's not too much to see now. Not much is still a heck of a lot to me. All that time I spent as a bound spirit, I was never able to see anything. I guess you couldn't. But then, you made that building your factory and now, I'm free! I don't think that I'll ever be able to thank you enough, Sister Halkara. Someday, I plan to repay that debt. You don't have to repay anything, Rosalie. Huh? You and I have no debts. We're family now. We help each other. That's all there is to it. Right? I mean, I'm sure if you said that to Master, she would tell you the same thing. <sighs> gonna go warm up in the bath. <sighs> Thanks for the chat, Sister Halkara. I can't soak in the bath, but somehow, I'm warm. <gasps> Morning, Mama! Morning. You two girls are up early. Halkara's bed's empty. Where is she? Don't know. Not sure. Hold on. Last night, Sister Halkara mentioned something about taking a bath. A bath? Late last night? <gasps> I told you to be careful! Good morning, Master. I'm not sure why, but I rolled under the bed and fell asleep there. Everybody wide awake? We're just about to enter the demon realm. <laughs> What's this about? I don't know. See that in the distance? The walled city with the castle in the center is the royal capital, known as Vonseld. 
Our first stop is the palace, where you'll be officially presented to the Demon King. Huh? I don't expect that to take too long. Then maybe a bit of sightseeing, since the ceremony isn't until tomorrow. Uh, hey, Beelzebub? What was that you just said? The ceremony's not until tomorrow. Before that! Uh, oh! The Demon King? <laughs> variety of different demon races. Some are quite human-like. Others more closely resemble animals. They come in all shapes and sizes. This is the castle. We walk from here. Don't worry about your luggage. Lania will take care of it. Uh, Beelzebub, do you... Do you think it'd be okay if we didn't meet the king? Hmm? But you have to. The head of state is the one who awards the demon medals of honor. So you are going to meet. Thus better now than at the ceremony, agreed? Listen to me very closely, Hakura. Please try hard not to mess up. Like I hear you. I will do that because I know they may kill me if I do. They'll probably skin me alive and then throw me to a burning hot fire. No one's going to do that. We're demons, not barbarians. But if you insult her king, I'll burn you at the stake. Hey, I'm a crispy critter either way. It's like a maze. That was done on purpose. In the old days, it confused attacking enemies. Then they could be eliminated. Oh, how very demon-like. Uh, I know we're here, but are you sure I can't fake sick for the rest of the day? Uh, I may not even have to fake it. My stomach really does hurt. It's just a cramp from walking. Come, we're almost to the throne room. Here we are. The throne room is just beyond these doors. Some doors. All right, girls, remember to curtsy. There's no need to do that. The Demon King is a friendly, informal type. Just act normal and you'll be fine. Beelzebub, you should know something. For me, acting normal means messing up all the time, no matter how hard I try not to. Our king has a big heart. A small mistake or two will be easily forgiven. Let us pass. <laughs> Down to me. 
You're not one of my retainers, and you haven't done anything wrong. I swear, as long as there's life in my body, no harm will come to you or your friends in my realm. <sighs> Thank you, Demon King. Enough groveling at my feet, Hulkra. Please stand up. Yes, Your Majesty. As you come here. summoning an extra doctor. We already have a royal physician. What is this new doctor's name?
unbelievable. It happened so fast. What kind of human is this? Let me get to the Demon King! Protect the King! Use magical defenses! Fire! Really? That's all you've got? <laughs> This isn't what I expected when I imagined how things would play out. I guess I went a little too far, didn't I? I suppose you meant business this time. You could flatten an entire country. sensed a possible threat, so it instinctively woke me up! That was all it took to wake you? What exactly is that drink you were trying to give to me? Oh, this? It's just a restorative tea! It was only meant to bring you back to consciousness! <laughs> it looks a lot like poison to me. Yeah, it looks like it, and it tastes... Yeah, terrible! But it isn't poison, I swear it's not! I don't believe you, huh? Highland Witch. If you wish to prove to me that you are innocent, then you will have to face me one on one! In a duel! Uh-huh. You want to have a fight? It's just a test to prove you weren't trying to kill me. If your claims are true, then even if you win, you won't try to assassinate me. I understand, or I think I do, but this test thing only works if I win, right? So what happens if I lose? If I defeat you, the test is over. <laughs> oh. And the Demon King will have defeated a would-be assassin, and that will be that. Then I suppose that means I have no choice. Now, Witch of the Highlands, I will see for myself if you're as powerful as I've heard. My family and life are at stake. Failure is definitely not an option. Huh? I can't believe she was able to dodge that. Well, don't forget that I am level 99. Oh. Don't just dodge, try attacking a little. You better not be dragging your feet. Remember that elf friend of yours? She will die if you lose. It wasn't very smart of you to bring her into this demon king. Huh? When it comes to protecting my family, I will not hold back! I'd say we're done here, right? We're not done! I just lost my balance! You're gonna keep fighting unarmed? Even if your body's immortal, your weapon's still gonna have a breaking point. Huh? Ah! That's checkmate. You're all out of moves, Miss Demon King. I believe I've won this duel. You concede? And will you do as I tell you? Yes. I want you to give Halkara a full pardon. She didn't mean to do you any harm, she's just clumsy. Uh, Demon King? You suddenly seem... Uh, as you wish, sister. Huh? What? Sister? Yes, dear sister, your wish is my command! Is this a joke? I don't get it. I've always dreamed of having someone stronger than me in my life that I can submit to and worship. I took the opportunity to test you to see if you fit the bill. And sure enough, you're perfect! I am? My dear sister, I will love, honor, and obey you for the rest of my life! Um, I'm really flattered, but before we make vows, could we please discuss guaranteeing Halkaras and my family's safety? Don't ask me to do something you want nicely. Tell me to do it like you're giving me an order. Oh, and please caress my face while you do it. Uh, Provost? No, I want you to call me Pekra. 
Cora. Oh, dear sister, all of this is happening so suddenly. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Pecora, you will set Hawkara free and pardon her. That is an order. <sighs> Let it be known that the elf Hawkara did not knock me unconscious intentionally. She is to be released from the dungeon at once, and Azaza and her family shall be treated as peers of the realm. Yes, Demon King! It seems like everything did work out. And it didn't end up costing our lives. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, Azusa, but just humor her. <sighs> I always wanted to have tea like this with a dear sister. <laughs> it's great to finally have someone order me around. Having people serve me all the time had become boring. All the bowing and kneeling and groveling, I'm just so tired of it. Well, you are the Demon King. But when you slam me up against that wall, I have to tell you, my heart skipped a beat. Uh, Such a forceful woman who's not afraid to fight back against me. I thought my chest was going to explode. Beelzebub was a candidate to be my sister, but she wouldn't give me any orders. She hardly ever said no to me. Still, she'd be a better fit than me. And that's checkmate. If there's ever something that I or my demon subjects can help you with, just ask me. Whatever I'm able to do for my dear sister, I will. Well, that's nice of you. So then, given that, could I trouble you to do a little favor for me? Maybe. What is it? So would you mind giving me a little kiss on the cheek? Huh? There's an emotional scene in my favorite book where an older sister kisses her younger sister. It's so touching. I always wanted to experience something exactly like that. <laughs> We're all alone. We could reenact it right now. Wait, wait, wait. That's the kiss you want? What's wrong with kissing me? People kiss their families all the time. How's this so different? I'm not kissing you like that. At most, I'll give you one hug. Yes, you will. You have to. I'm your little sister. Fine, okay. But only on your cheek, all right? Mm. Oh, thank you, big sister. I'm so happy. I was genuinely scared stiff. That was a close one, huh? Dangerously close. Now stay still and close your eyes. You've got to try to be more careful, Hulkara. <laughs> we were all so worried about you. Master and the Demon King are a couple? Master, all this time I didn't know you were the type of woman who liked other women. But now, I know that. I still support you! No! Kids not like that! You've got it all wrong! You have intruded upon a precious moment with my dear sister! Why, you? Have you no respect for privacy? And don't you know you should knock first? Execute her! <laughs> Please spare her, Pecora! I'll kiss you, I promise! Not going to happen. The moment is ruined. A kiss between two sisters is sacred. It's meant to deepen their bond. It's far more than a mere touching of the lips. How much? Mama, I don't think that you've ever kissed me before. I haven't? Come here. Ah, uh, smooch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama gave me a kiss! Mama gave me a kiss! Give me Can a kiss! I have one? Yay! Yay! Smooch. How was that? It was nice. <laughs> Mama! So can I kiss you? Me uh, too. Uh huh. Mama, smooch, <laughs> jeta, and for the rest of you, hugs. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I want to too. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm not overly fond of this demon king. Even putting the whole sentence to death thing aside, she's not my type. Your name's Laika, isn't that right? Huh? Just so you know, a part of tomorrow's ceremony may surprise you. Huh? Oh, wow, there are so many people here. <gasps> After everything that happened, I have expected to have my head on a spike right now. <laughs> Me too. Sorry. I really will try to be more careful. Huh? Fellow demons, ladies, and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming to today's ceremony.
Now, without further ado, let us get straight to awarding all the Demon Medals of Honor. Next is the Demon Peace Prize. This year's winner is the Highland Witch Azaza for her role in ending the conflict between the Dragon Tribe. At this time, I would also like to invite Red Dragon Laika to the stage. What? Me out on stage? Is this the surprise that you were hinting at yesterday? Hmm. And finally, I'd like a representative of the Blue Dragons to join us. Bluetooth, please come up. Huh? Uh, to ensure no splinter groups would shatter the newfound peace, Bluetooth united all the Blue Dragons and got them to agree to the treaty. Hey, long time no see, Laika. Yeah, been a while. You seem to relish putting people in uncomfortable... Now uh, for the medals! Yoink! Here you go! That's it? Having all three of you as co-recipients of this award will further ensure a lasting peace. And surely no one would dare break the treaty now that I have sanctioned it. No, Demon King. I, nor any other blue dragon, will ever break it. Having said that before you and all these demons, Flautort will have to keep her word. I gotta hand it to you, Pecora. You really thought this through. Demons are multiracial and quite diverse. As Demon King, I must unite and be a symbol of harmony to all. Well, now that the medals have all been awarded, I'll just be changing into my dragon form and heading home. Wait, don't go yet. A thought just occurred to me. Because my dear sister Azaza isn't a demon, you'll have to swear to her another way. Uh, uh, ah, I know. How about you allow her to touch your horns? What? No, please, your majesty. Anything but my horns. Do dragons hate having their horns touched, Laika? Blue dragons do, because they have a special custom. In their tradition, having someone touch your horns means that you submit to them. If you prefer, Laika can be the one to touch your horns. That would give the red dragons total control over you, which is also acceptable. If it's for the sake of keeping the peace, well then, I'll do it. Fine then, Azizah! This is just so degrading, I don't even care! Then, if you'll excuse me... I'm not sure I know how. 
But my orders are absolute, are they not? So you have to obey. I'll give you all the advice you need. If you're in the wrong, I'll tell you. Flawtort, I order you to live a free life. Your life. But mistress, what you just said to me contradicts itself. So what? An order is an order. Thank you, mistress. Before we go back to the others, would you mind doing something for me? Okay, so now you want me to pet your head and your horns? Yes. All right. That's nice. I'm glad I belong to you, mistress. All those years, she was trying so hard to be the Blue Dragon's strong leader. She couldn't afford to show weakness or rely on anyone. Mama. Mama? Flator, you're bothering Lady Azusa. It's time to get up and move. Uh, Come on, Lyka! Why'd you have the butt in? Because you were being weird with her. That's why I stopped you. Oh, that's rich coming from a silly red dragon. And what do you mean I was being weird? Seeing her petting you like that made me jealous. I mean, it made you look like a dog. I am not a dog. I'm a blue dragon. I am free. But I also obey my mistress. And so our trip to the demon realm came to an end. And we began our return home to the highlands. But our family seems to have gained yet another new member, so I think things are gonna get hectic. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, Natalie, it's unusual for you to drop by. What's up? Well, it's like this. It seems that there's been an outbreak of longhammer boars in Nilka Forest. A longhammer boar outbreak? This is the flyer. They're ferocious beasts, and the local hunters can't handle them. So they're hoping the Witch of the Highlands will solve their problem. I see. Getting rid of more monsters, that it? Well, I have enough magic stones already. Longhammer boars are wild animals, not monsters, so you won't be getting magic stones out of them. Kill one of them and all you'll get is boar meat. Meat? Lady Oscar, we must leave at once! We have to help them! What on earth has gotten into you two? Lady Azusa, it seems that the two of them need more fresh meat in their diet. Oh, so that's what this is about. Well, I don't want them having any more weird contests, so... Okay, let's go beat up some boars! I will go make preparations right away! We haven't a minute to waste! Meat, meat, time for meat! Meat, meat, can't be beat! Meat juice is flowing, meat juice is flying, so many meat juices you can drink them out of a bucket! This path is awfully steep. Yeah, maybe this being such treacherous terrain for humans makes it safer for all those boars. It's a good thing Halker is not here. She's safer at home with Balfa and Shalsha. She'd have fallen right on her- Sister! Hey! If you keep going straight ahead, the path goes sloping down to this river in the valley. I just saw about 15 of those boars hanging out down there. Thanks for scouting ahead. Fifteen boars? That's like a whole mountain of meat! Time to chow down! Wait, hold on! If you just stick to the path... It seems like I kind of got stuck. I tried to tell you. Of course your clothes will get snagged on the branches if you try going the way Rosalie did. I don't have to wear clothes when I'm in dragon form, so I'm not used to having the confining things on. Okay. If you're going to get in the way, then off they go! Whoa! Wait! What are you doing? Put them back on! Have you lost your mind? This is what freedom is! Freedom! Back on your free! Free! <laughs> I guess it's okay. At least there's no one around to see you. There were people forever and they saw me. So did they do anything bad? No, it was okay. I think they were females. Honestly. Here you go. Thanks, Laika. I owe you one. Well, you can repay me by putting your clothes on. There! So we're good now, right? Okay, I'm going back! But why? And she's off. We better stop her, or else people are going to think we're a bunch of streakers. Yes, she'll bring shame to all dragons. Stop them! <gasps> Sister Flotort! Are you all right? What happened? Hey! Hey! You get that back! Kira, 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 kira. Huh? Oh. What's up? Ah, it's floating down the river! What in the world is she doing? No idea. I can't make the trip back if I don't have those! <laughs> Oh no! And now my clothes are floating away! I guess you should have thought about where you were kicking them. Well, it's not like she's lost everything. <sighs> Forget it! Alright, boars. If you're fine with being naked, then the great flat tort will fight naked as well. That's what you call taking a fight seriously! <laughs> floating in the river. 
We assumed that they belonged to the naked person we'd seen earlier, so we picked them up. It seems that person was you. Thank you, Vanya. You saved my life. Beelzebub, what were you two scouting for? Well, we had heard there might be some longhammer boars here, so we showed up to gather some food for the demon realm. But it looks like you beat us to it. Since we've come so far, I'm sure you won't mind if we help ourselves. Well, if that's the case, Jenny, I'm going to prepare the finest wild game dishes you've ever eaten. There'll be lots of great food for all of us. Lady Azusa? Yes! And we'll invite the whole gang! job 
<gasps> I would die before I ever worked in a crummy bar like this hellhole! Actually, we just wanted to ask you if you knew anything about the Witch of the Highlands. Oh, so it's information you want. I did hear something recently, a little tidbit about the Witch of the Highlands. Really? What? If you want me to tell you, why don't you try throwing some insults at those guys over there? It'd be even better if you did it with a look of contempt and disgust on your face, as if you were looking at something filthy. What the hell kind of bar is this? Shouldn't we get out of here, Lady Azusa? Mm. Although if it'll get us information... Hey there, miss! I want to order something over here! Would you just keep your booze-reeking mouth shut? You're rotting my ears! <laughs> Why are you saying that stuff? Hey there, miss. Got something for me? One more word from you and I'll kick ya! Hey, I might even order the expensive booze! Whatever's in the horse's water bucket should be good enough for you, Buster! Hey, Curly! Give me a nice big smile! Say what? Who told you a drunk could give me orders? Verbal abuse is nothing better than that! It was worth walking hours to get here! Chills! I got chills! So, Lady Azusa, may I please put an end to these rotten folks? Oh, that icy glare makes me all tingly! More abuse! Treat me like the trash I am! Shut your trap! Stay away from these stinking vermin! Give me more! Just how stupid are you? Do you want to be torn apart by the claws of a dragon? Oh, yes, that's it! Please, please! You obscenely rude, inhuman specimens! What makes you hooligans think you have the right to make any demands of me? Laika, you're giving them too much service. Thank you so much. Now these pigs will keep spending all their money here. So just what was it you wanted to know? Oh, that's right. I heard that the Witch of the Highlands went north. <laughs> My goodness! It's the Witch of the Highlands! We're so grateful you're here. You hear what they're saying? Mm -hmm. We found her. That's correct. I am the famous Witch of the Highlands. I have been alive for 300 years. Oh, great witch. Please sell us your secret medicine. Oh, dear me. Why, no, I couldn't do that. My skills aren't yet good enough to have produced any medicine worth selling. I might consider it once I've gotten better at it. She's so humble. That's what you'd expect from the Witch of the Highlands. That can't be true. What? You've been at it for 300 years, right? Good grief. How long does it take before you get good enough? It's not like being a witch is such a hard job that you're still a rookie at it after 300 years. Everyone, this so-called Witch of the Highlands is a phony! I am the Witch of the Highlands! Her, uh, closest friend! This woman looks nothing like her! So she's a phony? I had heard the Witch of the Highlands was supposed to be young and beautiful. Well, you're not wrong! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you're the real Witch of the Highlands, surely you wouldn't lose to me in an epic battle of magic! <laughs> so therefore, I challenge you to a duel! Pico Pico! Huh? Lady Azusa! She's over here! <laughs> All right, the game's up! Huh? I'm, I'm sorry! You're right, I'm a phony! I'm so, so sorry! Uh... What? So you're the real Witch of the Highlands? Now I'm even more sorry! Well, it doesn't seem like you meant any harm, so it's okay. But she really does appear to be a witch. Yes, you're right. My name's Enno, and I really am a witch. That aside, Enno, I can see you're the type that likes to look the part, aren't you? You make medicines here? That's right! Take these mandragora tablets, for example. I make them myself out of sun-dried mandragora root! They're so great! For relieving stress and fatigue, and they even improve digestion! You make some pretty good stuff! I bet it would be a really big hit if you tried selling it! Oh no, I don't sell anything. I don't think it's a good idea for a witch to go around shamelessly marketing herself. That seems like a waste of talent. But well, you know, if somebody else came along and said they wanted to sell it to the public, then I'd be willing to consider it. You could say I like the idea of being a genius for only those in the know! That's so complicated. Hold on. Isn't what you said a bit of a contradiction? Huh? So you want to only be famous to those in the know, but then at the same time, you also want to be popular with the public as well. 
But you can't have it both ways. Well, yes, you're right, of course, but I just, you know... To be honest, there have been nothing but inconsistencies in everything you've said. Do you want to be known to the general public, or don't you? Tell us, just what exactly is it that you want? What is your goal? Can you explain it to an uneducated outsider like me, so I can understand? Well, it's, uh... That's enough, Laika. I think that I can help explain it. See, humans have this thing called vanity. Eno's vanity takes the form of wanting to be a genius witch who isn't into doing business and is known only to those in the know. But at the same time, you have a desire to be recognized as a great and wise witch, right? <laughs> But wouldn't that be called a... Yes, it's a contradiction. But you see, humans are just walking contradictions in the first place anyway. Is that how it really is? And this is all just my own personal opinion, of course. But am I correct? Oh, yes. You're absolutely correct. I'm so sorry. In other words, you want to be fawned over, right? Right. I do want people to fawn over me. Is that all? Mm. No. I want to really stand out and be gazed upon with admiration! And I'd like someone to make a bronze statue of me and to be treated like an honored citizen in my hometown! You are spouting some very worldly desires suddenly. What would you have to do to achieve all that, do you think? Um, the only way to achieve that is to do things that'll make me famous. Yes, very well said. Okay then, let's start doing that. This is a big marketplace. Mama, where is this witch's shop anyway? It was, uh, number A23B, I believe. Oh, that's along the wall. And the wall is the best spot. Is this a doujinshi convention or something? Witch of the Highland! Ah! Eno, is that you? Well, you know how I suffer from stage fright, right? So I decided that the best way to overcome my embarrassment and shyness was by becoming someone completely different from myself! Oh, I see. Well, okay, as long as it makes sense to you, I'm all for it. So where are Laika and Flatort? Get your Red Dragon bread butter cookies right here! Try these cookies made with beans roasted in the Valley of the Blue Dragons! My cookies are better than the ones to my right! The ones to my left aren't worth trying! For the love of... How dare you pester me, you grinning morons! I will make you regret that in your next life! Go wash your faces in a ditch and never ever come back! Oh yeah, please don't stop insulting me! Please, Lady Rosalie! She'd be perfect for that job. Alright, one bottle of my Mandragora tablets. Thanks so much and come again! And with that, Eno's shop turned out to be fairly successful. And she was able to shed a few layers, in more ways than one. <laughs> Lady Azusa, you have mail! Oh, it's from Eno! Dearest Lady Azusa, thank you for your help the other day. Thanks to you, through word of mouth, my Mandragora tablets have become all the rage and sales have been through the roof! I can't produce enough to keep up! I'm struggling to figure out what I should do about this. Wow! So that medicine became a real hit! It sounds like she's quite popular. Huh. It sounds as if she might work out as a new business partner. Well, she was able to draw out her latent talents. Maybe this was all for the best.
It really is Falfa! This is Falfa? Really? It is? Yeah, I didn't want to believe it either. Does anybody know how to change her back? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take that as a no. Well, Falfa's the spirit of a slime, right? Could it be she's able to transform into a slime? Not that I've heard. So, uh, huh? can't you do something about it with your magic sister? I think it'd be hard to create a new spell for a case this specific. For questions about monsters, demons are the ones to ask. Demons? Vosano Sanon, Ujishidao, Beyani, and Rila! Beelzebub! Falfa transformed into a slime! You... So you did this to me over a poor excuse for a joke like that? No, it's true! Oh, poor Falfa! I can't believe what you have become! She woke up this morning looking like that! Do you know of any way to change her back? Well, they say, you should buy your bread from a baker. So we should ask a slime about slime matters. Ask a slime? I hear there's a special slime known as Intelligent Slime at Vanzeld Castle. That's where you're likely to find your answer. Back to the demon capital again. So what is this Intelligent Slime's name then? Like I said, Intelligent Slime. Really? That doesn't sound wildly intelligent to me. Okay, I'm paying a visit to Van Zelt Castle. Please, Mother. I want to go with you to help out. Of course. I know that you're worried, too. There's no need to look so serious. Azusa and I will take care of everything. Mm-hmm. Intelligent Slime seeks out quiet places, so it resides in the castle's lowest level. I'm impressed you don't get lost with all these complicated hallways. Uh huh? Was this path here before? So you are lost! <laughs> I thought this might happen. So I've been leaving a trail of breadcrumbs behind. Falfa, you shouldn't eat things you find on the ground! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, now we're right back where we started! Oh, good grief! This castle is so confusing! Hey, isn't this where you work? Well, well. Oh. I can't tell you how overjoyed I am to see you again, dear sister of mine. <laughs> if you please, greet me with a kiss on the cheek. You know I'm not gonna do that. You're looking for intelligent slime, are you not? Don't you want to know how to find it? I get it. You'll tell me after I kiss you? Why, but of course. <clears throat> For my dear sister is such a wonderful experience. I'm so ecstatic. I could die right now and simply. All right, all right. Just tell me where intelligent slime is already. You should try looking in that shed over there. This just looks like a normal shed to me. Uh, uh? Here it is. How could we have ever found that? There's a lot of writing on the wall. What does it say? You are... intelligent slime, correct? It just hit the word yes. Oh, I see. It uses that board to communicate. Is that why it's covered in bruises? Intelligent slime. This young slime spirit I have here has suddenly taken on the physical form of a slime. Could you tell us how we can change her back? To... Ray... Backspace. Oh, it made a mistake. That's a lot of work. To Moriana Province. Find the tallest mountain there. Ask the magician slime that lives there. We have to find a magician slime now? The tallest mountain in Tamoriana, huh? All right, we'll need some time to research that. Azusa, why don't we resume this tomorrow? Yeah, we're all tired anyway. Let's do that. Intelli, thanks for your help. Intelli? Yeah, Intelligent Slime, or Intelli for short. You have a simplistic naming sense. I didn't know slimes like to eat meals too. 
It doesn't need to be a meal. We can absorb our nutrition from dirt and plants that we find anywhere. But I wanted her to have real food. <sighs> a moment of relaxation. Mother. What is it? Do you think we'll ever find a way to change my sister back? Don't you worry. Just leave all of this to your mother. No matter what form she may take, Falfa is still Falfa. Even if Falfa were in a whole crowd of slimes, I'd find her in a heartbeat. Well, that's the place. Anybody home? Oh, hello. And just who might you be? I'm sorry. We were told this is where the magician slime lives. Oh, I don't blame you for being confused. Actually, I am a slime. You're a slime? I'm only in human form because I use transformation magic. Oh, so that's it. But this is no place to talk. Please, come in. I'm sorry I don't have chairs for guests. But being a slime, I don't need furniture. Or bathroom fixtures. Oh, and by the way, what's your name? My name's Magician Slime. Why, of course! Would it be okay with you if I called you Magi for short? Uh, Magi? Yes, that's fine. So, what is it you wanted of me? Would you like to return this slime to her previous form? That's correct. May I hold her for a moment? Uh-huh. Yes. Her elasticity is really quite different from a normal slime's. This is a very special slime indeed. <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. So that's it. You're that type, huh? You don't say. Uh-huh. You're that type. What type? Oh, I have the answer! If you want to know the reason this slime ended up in this form, it's... It's what? It's her... Sleeping position. Her oh, what? Just by touching her, I could feel that her body was very stiff. I'm sure she must have pulled or strained a muscle while she was sleeping. That made it difficult for her to maintain her human form, so she took the form of a slime. So you can't turn her back with your transformation magic? The magic only works for a short period of time. It won't solve the problem itself. Then what can we do? The quickest way is for the slime to come to understand for herself the way to change back. For help with that, you should ask Fighter Slime. Who's Fighter Slime? Unlike me, Fighter Slime attained human form through repetitive body movement. So I think the solution is to learn that same technique. And just where can we find this Fighter Slime? I believe Fighter's gone to the southern town of Kelney to compete in a fighting tournament. Fighting tournament? According to what I've heard, she's a solitary fighter seeking only to improve her strength. I see. Well then, I will fight in this tournament as well! But why? If by competing I can prove to Fighter Slime that I'm stronger than she is, then she will have to listen to me. Well, you may have a point. So tell me, what is this Fighter Slime's name? Naturally, it's Fighty! Fighty. The same naming scheme I use for things! There are a lot more men than women competing. Hey, that outfit! Oh, you finally showed up! This crowd is going to freak out if a demon enters the tournament! It'll be fine. I hit my horns and I'm fighting under the name Belzy. Pretty sloppy name choice. Oh, you want to talk. The use of magic is prohibited in this tournament, so you just better watch yourself. I'll sure look pretty dumb if I get disqualified. <laughs> We're with you all the way! Go get him, mistress! You got this! Falfa! I promise I'm gonna get you back to normal! Hey, girlie! Better watch out! Don't worry, I won't lose! The winner is Azusa! Wow, she knocked him out in an instant! Sister's an awesome fighter, isn't she? <laughs> to the semi-finals. No one in this tournament is a match for our master. Not another skinhead. I trained this iron body to be strong enough to repel any attack. <laughs> and the winner is Azusa. She's overpowering all of them. Lady Azusa, you're so awesome. You did it, mother. 
Okay, now all that's left is to beat Fighty in the finals. Now the second semi-final. Fighty to the stage, please. I'm here. Aha, uh -huh. so that's Fighty, huh? Belzy, please step forward. Fighty wasn't really anything special after all. Why do you beat her, Beelzebub? Now I have no way to make contact with her. Don't you worry. I have the same goal as you. <laughs> you can count on me to negotiate with Fighty. Can I? Really? Just leave everything to me. But first... Huh? You get to advance to the final round, Asusa. Which means you get to fight me. Frankly, I don't even care about the final round anymore. Too bad. I want to fight you in the final round and settle our score. You have to make it to the final round, understand? Mm. What's wrong? This should be your time to shine by the frowny face. Well, what do you expect? I'm still no closer to fixing Falfa's problem. <laughs> you might be closer than you think. Mama! Mama, look, it's me and I'm back! Falfa, you're back to your old self! What do you think? Quite the surprise, right? Hold on, did you all know about this? Huh? I know you can do it, Mama. And I'm going to be rooting for you. Thanks, Falfa. I'll do my best. Now I guess you can focus on our fight. Hmm. Azusa, Witch of the Highlands. The outcome of our battle has yet to be seen. This time we fight with no barriers. There's no telling how it will end if we fight fair and square. I am pretty darn strong after all. She has a point. We never did finish that battle. Okay then, let's go on and get to it, shall we? This time I'll show you what I can do when I'm serious. Okay, begin! <laughs> She's even got horns on her head! So is that what's cool in the big city? Hot damn! These girls are too stylish for us country folk! I guess they're not gonna figure out you're a demon. Hmm. Well, this is a problem. Huh? I can't overcome your speed by attacking you head on. So I decided I'd find a weak spot and attack that. But I don't really have any weak spots, do I? Actually, you have countless weak spots. Uh Okay, so come straight at me then! See, I can aim for a weak spot when I just happen to come across one. But you've got so many weaknesses, it's hard to choose which to attack! Good grief, we can't fight if you don't come down here! And we can't use magic, so I can't fly up! I know, but still... Fine, just let me know when you're going to attack, okay? I'll wait here till then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, Are two, you three. mocking me? One, two, I'll set three. you straight! I'm going to send you flying! Wow, what an impact! Mama! Mother! What are you doing? Stop screaming my face! That's what you get for coming at me face first! Stop it this instant! Okay, and now it's my turn! And I've got more! That's fine by me! They fight so fast, I can't keep up with them! Yeah, I can't either! Good fight! You know it's the longest anyone's given me so far. You are pretty strong, aren't you? Damn right I am! I'm a demon officer! It's even more surprising that a human is able to fight me! That's especially true when I've trained every single day in both wind and rain, before and after work. All for this day! I had no idea you saw me as such a worthy rival. That makes me... kind of happy. <sighs> She's starting to weaken, though. What can I do to finish this fight? Mama! Huh? You can do it! You should know! I was watching you even when I was a slime! And you were running around all over the place just to help me out! What you did for me, it made me so happy! So I'll keep rooting for you all the way! You can do it! Sorry, 
Beelzebub. But since my daughter's watching, I have to try and look good for her. I think I just evolved about two more levels. What kind of nonsense are you spouting now? You can count on me being the one who wins this fight! that I have lost to you again, fair and square. I'll give you a rematch if you want to go at it again. It's kind of a hassle, though, so you'll have to wait a while. You were so strong, yet you have no zeal. Anyway, I think you may have just spoiled any peaceful life you might have had. What do you mean by that? Well, after today, everyone knows about your strength even out here in the South, where very few knew about it before. Witch of the Hallens! Azuzah! Greatest witch ever! Azuzah! Oh, damn it! Fighty, thank you for restoring my daughter to normal. Don't mention it. I'm just happy I had the chance to help out a fellow slime. Too bad I didn't win the tournament and get that prize money, you know. But I'll make money, don't you worry. Even if it's one gold piece at a time. Yeah, well, money is definitely important. So if you know of any martial arts events where I can make some money, let me know. Well, I wanted that money. You're kind of obsessed with money. Actually, there was also a favor I wanted to ask of you. What is it? Miss <sighs> Azula, uh, please take me on as your student. Huh? You want me to teach you? Why, sure. I've never seen a stance that has so many vulnerabilities yet prevents any hit from landing. You have great natural form. You're my hero, and I want you to teach me. Look, don't let the stance fool you. I really do have a ton of weak spots. So there's nothing I could teach you, really. I understand. In that case, let me fight you just once. Then you can decide whether or not I'm strong enough to be your student. Were you even listening? number of slimes emit that aura. Countless souls are crying out. Goodness, Fighty, what's wrong? <laughs> Help me! <gasps> You're awake. I wasn't expecting our fight to end before it even began. Have you given up on being my student? I have. Oh, huh? I was wondering exactly where the rest of you went. It's time for us to move out. Oh, Miss Belzy! I've come to realize that your strength is like that of a demon. So please, let me be your student. Wow, she sure is fickle. And what reason would I have to take you on as my student? There's no way. Please, please, I beg of you. I don't take students. It might be a good idea, though. What? If we know she's with you, it'll be easier to get her help if my daughter turns into a slime again. Don't try to pawn her off on me. I'll even do your chores. I'll wash clothes, dishes, anything. Beelzebub, I'm asking as a friend. I'm asking you as well. And me too. All right, fine then. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, thank you, Miss Belzy. Oh, okay then, it, I guess that's promise. case closed. <laughs> Falfa, yeah. I'll pamper you as much as you want today. What do you want to eat? Oh, Mama, I want to eat something like dessert. Okay, I'll make a cake or something. And I'll help make it. In that case, I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> I maxed out my level without even realizing it. But after that, I decided it was time to raise my level as a mother too.
minstrel Shifanoia is paying her first visit to Flata. That, uh, isn't quite what I was expecting. Anyone know who this is? I've never even heard of her before. She's probably just some unknown. It does seem a bit sketchy. Oh, Shifanoia? She's been around for a while. So you know this person, Flatort? Yeah, I love minstrels, and I must know probably a thousand of them. That's so hardcore! Shifanoia has only performed in the capital before, but it sounds like she's begun a nationwide tour. Mama, can we stay in town and hear the minstrel sing? It might be fun to give her a listen. <laughs> well, okay then. Since we're here, I guess we can check her out. Wow, there are a lot of people here. Is that Shifanoia? I sure think so. Yes, 
you never would have kept at it all this time if you didn't really love doing it. And it'd be a shame to just give it up. I bet someday you'd regret quitting on your dream. I mean, if you're excited about starting a new job, I won't stop you. But I don't think that you really are. So I say keep on doing what you love doing. For now, just devote yourself to your music one more time while you think over your future. You can stay here in the meantime. But I can't pay any rent. You don't need to. I'm the one who's telling you to stick with the music, so I'll help you out any way that I can. I really appreciate it. I'll play a song to celebrate our new friendship. Yeah. <laughs>
biological elements are really rather novel. Yay! Last is Rosalie! I got this!
That was such fun! Oh? Huh? Hey, Cuckoo, something wrong? I looked at the venue and it's just too big! The thought of me performing on that stage! Uh, I'm sure the new Cuckoo will do just fine! Yeah, that's right! I'm no expert, but even I can tell that your singing style's improved a lot! I hope so. You'll be fine. Huh? You've shown you've got the perseverance by sticking with it for so long. You were just investing your effort in the wrong way. Now that you fixed that, there's nothing stopping you from putting on a good performance. Right. For all your talk, Flatheart, you have no perseverance and you never invest effort into anything for very long. <laughs> just what do you mean? Well, for example, you only crashed my sister Layla's wedding on a whim, right? If you wanted to defeat us red dragons, shouldn't you have really started trying a bit sooner? That was the sort of thing that's best done on a whim! <laughs> Though, even if you had tried, I doubt you could have beaten us. Yeah, fine! Let's settle this right here and now! All right, come on, you two, that's enough now! We'll have a contest to see whose horoscope is better today! All right, then you're on! That's not much of a challenge, come on! <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo, you've done everything you could. Now all that's left is to let the audience hear you sing your song! Right! How's Cuckoo doing? Huh? She was a little nervous, but I think she'll be okay now. Beelzebub, thank you for doing so much to make this happen for Cuckoo. <laughs> well, all I did was give her an opportunity. Whether or not she seizes the moment is up to her. <sighs> My name's Cuckoo. This song I'm about to perform. Before. 
Are you absolutely sure these are safe to eat? Why, of course they're safe. I made sure to pick only the ones that are edible this time. I personally made a careful study of all the mushrooms in the nearby forest, and I perfectly memorized which ones are edible and which ones are not. These are all definitely safe. Considering your record, you're awfully confident. <laughs> well, if you're completely sure, fine then, I'll believe you. And with that out of the way, let the shrimpa begin! Let's spread some butter on the grill and toss the mushrooms on. And now, drizzle on some Melvin. That's all it takes to make them super tasty! Huh? So what do you think? <laughs> Time to bring on the food! Yay! This is quite good. It's not meat, but it's good in its own way, actually. Delicious. And to think there are so many different types of mushrooms! Forests are amazing! Here you go, mm. sister. Mm. Man, nothing beats the combo of mushrooms with creamy butter and soy sauce! What's soy sauce? So just what mushroom is this? What's the name of it? That one's a black dwarf mushroom. I made totally sure I only picked the ones that hadn't grown too big yet. How about this one? Those are called gnomes hideaway. They don't grow in this area, so I cultivated them in my room. When they reach full size, they're big enough for an adult gnome to hide under. Is this the same kind? Yes! It's like a gnome's hideaway. Actually, it's a gnome maker mushroom. It's what's known as a poisonous mushroom. Eating it makes you shrink. Did you just say poisonous? Did I hear you correctly? Master, your smile looks kind of scary. You said that all of these mushrooms were definitely safe to eat! Well, the ones I picked definitely are. The one that you just said I've been growing in my room. You think I care where they came from? Uh... Oh, Master! Mother! Mama! Lady Azusa! Mistress Sister. Oh no! Sister! What, what... What just happened? My Lady Azusa! Mama, you're so cute! I'm cute? What... Wait, what is this? Don't tell me I... It's like I'm a child. Well, you certainly look young enough. I'm sorry, sorry. But don't worry, it doesn't do any harm other than make you shrink. And I'll find out in no time how to turn you back to normal. You just do that. <laughs> I hope I can get back to normal again soon. Um, Lady Azusa? Huh? This is hard for me to say, but... You're so cute! Are you crying? <laughs> Here we go, Uncle Daisy! That doesn't actually make me happy! I'm not really a child! It's so funny. Even though your body's a lot smaller, I guess your soul weighs exactly the same. What exactly are you looking at? Well, it's a good thing the village had clothes like yours in children's sizes. Here, Mama. Up and wide. Huh? I'm not a child. The Intrinsic Differences Between Knowledge and Experience, Volume 1. What book's that? A Brilliant Thesis on Intuitive Cognition. That's not exactly a book you'd read to a child. Not that I am one. Listening to it makes babies sleepy and makes them want to take a nap. <sighs> this is a kid's lunch. I tried making it fancy to suit your new appearance. Boy, you're enjoying this. Where's Halkara? She's locked herself in her room while she searches for a way to turn you back. She better find one. So, Lady Azusa, can I ask you a favor? What is it? Well, I was wondering if you would possibly let me pet you on the head. <sighs> Fine, then. You might as well coddle me all you want at this point. I've resigned myself to it. Huh? <gasps> Lady Azusa, I must say, you are so cute. Even your grumpy face is cute. Hey, you don't get her all to yourself! So, aren't I petting you more gently than she did? My petting's a lot softer than hers, right? That's not true. My petting's a lot more gentle than yours. It's obvious my way feels much nicer. <laughs> Are you two fighting or petting? Make up your minds. <laughs> nope, I can't reach it. Huh? There you go, sister. Oh, why, thank you, Rosalie. You know, sister, if you wanted me to, I wouldn't mind combing your hair for you. So you too, huh? Yeah, okay, go for it. 
It's just a very distant memory, but I seem to recall I used to play with dolls this way back when I lived in the mansion. Dolls, really? <laughs> I'm back at last! Oh, did you find a way to change me back? Did I? Huh? No, I thought nothing! I'm sorry! Then why were you smiling like that? I don't know, but when I decided to tell you the truth and apologize, this is what my face did! All I can do is apologize. Well, that doesn't solve anything. I guess I'll just have to ask the demons. Bossano Sanon, Uji Shidao, Bayani and Rila! That was a lovely bath. You've gotten used to just showing up in the bathtub, huh? Who are you? You're the spitting image of Azusa. You're not her daughter, are you? No, it's me, Azusa. I shrank because of a poison <laughs> mushroom. You look just how cute and adorable you are! Stop treating me like I'm a child! Uh, resisting my affection only makes you more irresistible! Now I see. So you decided you'd seek out the knowledge of demons. You've got to do something! I do not want to stay like this forever! Oh really? Well why not? Wouldn't it be nice to live your life as the most adorable child ever? Fine, I'll tell everyone the great demon Beelzebub was beaten by a little kid. Hey, that's not playing fair! Oh, very well. I'll go search Van's old castle for a way to restore you. You'll need to come with me. All right, then. And we'll bring Shalsha and Falfa as well. Why? <laughs> to make me happy. delightful explosion of cuteness that was. It was almost like being in heaven. Well, that's great, but just don't tell Pekara about it, okay? If she finds out, it'll complicate things for sure. Welcome, my dear sister. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Come now. You shouldn't underestimate the Demon King's power. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I never ever dreamed you could look so adorable, dear sister. I want to go back to normal. Yo, oh, that would be a waste. You should stay just as you are, at least until I get tired of it. Pekora, let's ask the members of your family what they think. Falfa, Shalsha, do you prefer your mama the way she is now or the way she was before? If you choose the way she is now, I'll give you all the candy you want. So what should we say? Difficult decision. Don't let her buy you off. Mama wants to go back to normal. Well, well um, um, all right, I think I've had enough of this joke. What joke? Allow me to suggest one way you can change back to normal. Within the demon realm, in a forest far, far away from this castle, there grows a massive tree known as the World Tree. At the very top of it, there is a pharmacist who deals in every medicine ever known. The World Tree? Do we have to go that far to fix this? Better safe than sorry. You don't want to risk some shady treatment method, do you? All right, I'll try climbing up this world tree then. What's it like anyway? The inside of the world tree is hollow and it's laid out like a maze. The 108th floor is the very top, but along the way there are many areas inhabited by ferocious wild beasts. A dungeon with 108 floors is pretty big, but still, I have to go. Very good decision. Vanya, you'll take sister to the world tree. <laughs> Well, I suppose if I must be the one to go, then I will do it. My younger sister going alone worries me. I will go too. By the way, Beelzebub, you have plenty of work to catch up on while they're away. Of course, understood. Well, I'll be back soon, girls. But wait, I want to go with you. This trip might be dangerous. You two need to stay here. All right, then. I'm sure Mother will be just fine. Well, then, we'd better get going. Fatla, Vania? Mm-hmm. Whoa! The size of it is pretty shocking when you see it in person. I haven't seen this tree in some time, since that school field trip. I came to the World Tree on a field trip, too! Oh, wow. You mean both of you have been here before? All right, then. Let's go! No matter how big and mysterious a dungeon it is, I have to do this to get back to normal. So I will do it! Uh, what's this sign mean? Coins are demon currency. Not that, the elevator part. 
many people wanted to go up higher and higher in the world tree, so they started charging an elevator usage fee. The higher you want to go, the more it costs. I thought it would be more like a real dungeon. Well, it is in some places. For example, the 11th and 12th floors are home to Wild World Tree 11th Floor Wolves and Wild World Tree 12th Floor Wolves, so we'll need to be very careful there. What a silly way to name them. Wait, where's Vanya? Sorry! Hey, look! I got some deep-fried buns from that shop! They're great! They're so good, they're known all over the world! What a tourist trap! Smells good! Can I have some? It's a good thing they gave you the kids' price, huh, Azusa? There's a lot I could say here, but let's head up to the 11th floor. We've got a long way to go. 500 coins per person for wild animal conservation. By the way, on the 13th floor, there's a gate that also charges a fee. This seems like such a sketchy business. This definitely looks like a place where scary animals would live. I'm not the kind of 
person to cry normally. You mustn't. Huh? After all, we're still on the job. <sighs> when we were both children, you nearly fell from up here, didn't you, Vanya? I never did anything that clumsy. But I definitely remember that you were the one who started complaining more and more as we kept going. Oh. Until Father finally said we never should have brought you along. Do you remember that? Well, climbing up that volcano was quite exhausting. It took longer than expected. As I always say, not everything works out exactly as scheduled. Or maybe you're just too lazy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> mushroom and it made me get smaller. Do you have any medicine that can change me back to normal? Ah, oh, yes. Until very recently, it was difficult to treat the effects of that particular mushroom. But I've since learned there is one medicine that works well to counteract it. There is? Really? Yes, it's become very popular. This is it. Wait, isn't that... It's made by a witch named Enno who's known as the Witch of the Cave. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Hello! It's me, Enno, the Witch of the Cave! I brought you three more cases of that medicine! Enno! What are you doing here? Hmm? Who's the kid? <gasps> Wait! Are you the Witch of the Highlands? Wow! You actually walked all the way up here? Yeah! Dragons can't do it, but wyverns can fly straight to the top! They bring up our medicines! Why would someone tell you to walk? You know, I deliver Mandragora pills to Bonzel Castle, too. I'm positive that the Demon King knows that's how I transport them there. Huh? Oh, I guess I forgot that a wyvern could fly you straight to the top. What a silly demon. No, you totally knew. And you knew about the medicine, too. Why, whatever do you mean? Oh, just never mind. At least we got to ride a wyvern to get back here faster. I just want to take that medicine and have a bath. I'm a mess after that crazy adventure. Wait a moment. I bet everyone wants to see you return to your normal self. We did all work hard to get these pills. Maybe I should share the moment. Just Mandragora pills? Is that it? You work so hard for nothing. All's well that ends well. Now, time to get me back to normal. Oh. It appears that it's working. I feel apprehensive. Oh! When she gets bigger, she won't fit into those smaller clothes. Ah! Oh dear sister, this is so scandalous as your little sister. I shouldn't see you naked. Look around, you knew this would happen and you didn't say anything at all. Sorry, but I don't have the buggies. They do what you mean. I really, really don't really. Well, at this point, we might as well all take a bath. We'll all be naked together, including you. Got it? better than soaking in a big hot bath. I couldn't agree more. It feels best when you're completely exhausted from work. Pekara? Ah, your sister! Tell me, does being here in this bath with all of us embarrass you? N no, I wouldn't say that. It's just that I'm, well, you know, not really used to this sort of thing. Oh, right. Since you are the Demon King, you probably never take baths with anyone. Mm. So sorry, but when you get me, I get you back. So now I'm going to get a look at you naked. But that's so scandalous to me. You're supposed to be naked in a bath. Besides, it's not embarrassing when everyone's in it together, right? You do know that you took your practical joke a little too far this time. Huh? Listen to me, Pekara. I'm your older sister, and no matter what her reason for doing it, if my little sister does something bad, I'll scold her for it. Hmm. Hmm. Understand? I'm really sorry, sister. Good girl. So there's no hard feelings, right? So, um, dear sister? What's up? I've dreamed of being kissed. That's because of what I read about in books. But books leave a lot to the imagination. They don't tell you what happens. Ah, so being kissed is as far as you've gotten in your dream, huh? You are so pure. Yeah, so there is something I'd like you to do for me. Sure, you just name it. 
Well, I'd like to, please. I'd like to touch your breast, dear sister. <laughs> what did you say? I want to have some practice so I get used to that too. You know, so I get accustomed to doing it like taking a bath with others. Get away from me. That is not allowed. <laughs> oh, come on, sister. What do you mean that that's not allowed? If the Demon King had some weird awakening, it'd cause irreversible damage. <sighs> no, I can't grant you that. Please, dear sister. No, Pekka No, you need to remain pure and innocent for the sake of world peace. I don't 
feel bad wearing this outfit. No, oh, because you're adorable! Um, loyal, loyal? They took my measurements, so why is the chest so tight? <laughs> what kind of shady place are we running? Halkara, if you wear it like that, you're fired. <gasps> but we haven't even opened yet! Vladar, you look so cute! It's well proportioned. Almost as if they used the golden ratio. Uh, you think so? I find it too restrictive. I feel better and more comfortable undressed. The great Flator will be fighting this battle totally naked! In no way is that better! Aw, oh, man. You're all so lucky. I wish I could try something on. Oh, don't worry. You'll be changing your outfit, too. And allow my outstretched hand to reach through the living world to what lies beyond. Transform Rosalie into this dress in her mind! Wow, this is great! Thank you, sister. Mm-hmm, you look really good. So now, that just leaves Laika. God! It, um, doesn't make me look too strange, does it? Priceless! When I was younger, I wore an outfit like this in a school play. I got the same reaction and felt as embarrassed as I do now. Oh, that embarrassed face! Priceless! Will you please stop saying the same thing over and over again? All right! Now we just need a menu! Ah, this sounds like my chance to really shine! <laughs> See? Yup, I already made one! Hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm taking the 15 flavor aphrodisiac off the menu. What do you mean it's out? It was an enormous hit with all of the men in Flutter! I'm still in my prime! That's not the image we want! And this, your once-a-day growth enhancer? Better Bowl Cocktail is off the menu too! Can't you come up with something normal? Well, if you want something else, all I really have is this wild grape and clover honey juice with a light flavor and pleasant aftertaste. Why couldn't you have started with that one? Hmm. Honestly, you have no common sense at all. Uh -huh. Oh yeah? You're the one who hasn't any sense. <laughs> What's going on over here? Uh -huh. Lady Azusa, please hear out my new idea. Anyone who can eat this giant omelet in 30 minutes gets their meal free. What do you think? I'm not so sure we want an eating competition. Aww. <laughs> How can you cook without meat? So my idea is serving endless meat dishes. Ow. That's what we need. Here. Ow. Here. Ow. Here. Ow. Here. Ow. Here. 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 That's right. not what we need. Stop it! The both of you are wrong! How about we boil pasta and top it with a sweet cream sauce for something truly unique? I like your attitude, but that sounds unnecessary. Oh, master! We could serve a four-course meal consisting entirely of 36 types of mushrooms. And how many would be poisonous? Mama! Look at this big grasshopper I caught! Will it taste good if we cook it? I don't think we could serve that. Don't worry, I'll make the menu. Here we go. There. All right, that's done. Great witch! Huh? I can't wait to come! <laughs> For the witch's house coffee shop! It's opening tomorrow. Please come dine with us. Come check out our coffee shop. It's called the Witch's House. We'll have lots Please of tasty come and food. Visit us. See you there. Here you go. Oh. Hmm, not bad. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow morning, our coffee shop opens. Even though I'm not sure anyone will really show up. Mm -mm -mm. But the most important thing is that we have a good time. So let's all have fun tomorrow! Yeah! yeah! <sighs> well, gotta start getting things 
Everything's ready. This is... Oh, wow! People have come from even outside of Flutter. Huh. Lining up overnight is against the rules. Oh, no. I heard the first ones got here early this morning. Then we're all good. <sighs> then it's decided. We'll open the doors ahead of schedule. Yeah! yeah! Attention, everyone! The witch's house will be opening one hour early today. Who cheers like that for a coffee shop opening? Welcome, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the Witch's House Coffee Shop! The Great Witch looks beautiful as a waitress. And Hawker, it looks like the perfect balance of wholesome and unwholesome. If you're ready, we can take your order, sir. Here's some water for you. Her twin daughters couldn't be cuter. They're as cute as a pair of buttons. Thank you for waiting. Your omelet, cooked to order, just as you like it. Enjoy it. Take your time and savor every single bite. She is a goddess! I wish I had a little sister like her. There is no other word for her but... Priceless! Um, I get a little embarrassed when you stare at me. Please don't. Whoa! Hey! Hang in there, my boy! Another nosebleed? What kind of place is this? I hate how Laika's getting all the attention from the customers. I won't lose to her! Look at how many plates I can carry at once! Oh, Amazing. wonderful! Haha! <laughs> Piece of cake! I'm getting a bad <laughs> feeling. Well, that was a close one. <gasps> there you go. Oh. 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 The ghost lady is the best. That's great service. Oh, thanks. You're too kind. I guess everyone's happy. Service with style is a hit. Look around, Master. Uh-huh. This juice is refreshing. And this tasty soup warmed me right up. It's simple, but at the same time elegant. I love these decorations. The customers are all enjoying both the food and the atmosphere. <laughs> all right, everybody. Keep up the good work. Okay. okay. Thank you for coming today. Uh, uh? Oh, Mother. I'm sorry, but my feet hurt. That's okay. I'm sorry for not noticing. You take it easy. Mm -mm. Don't worry, I'll just take over on the register. That way I'll keep working. Thank you, Shalsha. But be careful not to overdo it. Here's your tea with milk! Here's your fresh salad with forced tree nuts! So you'd like three coffees, a chiffon cake, and two fruit cakes. And for you, one black tea, one milk, an omelet special, and a sandwich. I'm surprised how well we're doing. We're already a complete success. What a fine coffee huh? shop. Thanks for coming by. How many in your party? Oh, you're here. Don't you have any work? You're being very rude to a customer. Did I tell you about the opening? <sighs> no, you did not. I only came because I happened to hear about it. Don't I always tell you to invite me along when you're doing something fun? Oh, she wanted to be invited. Uh, hey, Beelzebub, you know, it's not too late to help us serve customers if you want. <sighs> uh, I mean... You have the time to help, that is. Mm -hmm. If you can't, I totally understand it. I'm a demon, remember? I'm not someone you can just go around asking uh -huh. to do favors for you. Don't let your head get so big. Hold on, Beelzebub. That's the back door. Mm -hmm. Well, I could help out. You're ready to go? When did you change clothes? She's just a waitress, but she has the regal aura of a queen. I agree. She has the dignity of a soldier combined with the elegance of a proper lady. She must have gone to finishing school. I bid you a warm welcome. 
Enjoy the witch's house coffee shop. When you know what you'd like to order, be sure to let me know. <laughs> okay? She's perfect! <sighs> oh, kitchen staff! An herbal tea and a carrot chiffon cake set up, plus two tropical mixed juices, please, ladies. Beelzebub's turned out to be quite a good helper. Yeah, she's even changed the tone of her voice. With Beelzebub giving us a hand, we can breathe a little easier now. Still, there's no sign of the crowd thinning out yet. All right, here we go. Huh? Now. Because? Everyone do it with me, okay? Now, be yummy. Oh. No. I added a pinch of little devil spice, too. That was way more than a pinch. What do you think you're doing? Wait, my dear sister! So what do you think? Do you like my outfit? Is it cute or what? Should a scary demon king really be serving customers? Why, of course! And I've always wanted to be a waitress in a coffee shop at least once in my life. Wait, if you're here, does that mean what I think it does? My sister came up with an improved version for human palates. She just made herself the chef? Hey, chef! I need one more of the special! Coming up! You mean it's already part of the menu? Oh, Hokura. Table 3 needs a dessert menu. I'm on it, manager! And I guess Fatla's our new floor manager now? A big party just came in! Huh? Someone just changed their order! Huh? There's so many customers! Huh? Master, is that outfit for some special kind of new training? I'll help out! Let me help out! Huh? Wait, what are you doing here? I have some samples right here of the latest herbal supplement from NL's brand! Feel free to take one! Oh. Here you go! Hello? Exactly who gave you permission to do that? Here's a special song for all of you folks waiting in line! Oh. Listen to the howling cries of Cuckoo and Flaptort's tortured soul! Whoa, this is turning into some kind of crazy! No matter, I'll just keep doing my job. years since I reincarnated here. After finding out I had maxed out my level, my life turned around completely. If this keeps up, I bet there's gonna be a lot more fun and surprises in the future. Comparing my recent experiences to the 300 years before, I can confidently say that my new life has already been more entertaining than my old one. Cost, less price, and profit. Coffee and chocolate cake. A bib and none, none. Living a slow life alone was nice, but living a slow life with others is special in its own way. 
And since this life is the result of all those years of defeating slimes, I can't forget the debt I owe them. Still, there are slimes everywhere, so I'm sure I'll have to face more of them eventually. But for now, our coffee shop is closed. I think I'd like to live a nice, peaceful life for a while. Blatus Dance Festival takes place tonight. I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to go. I'm intrigued. Lady Azusa, I'd like to see it too. Then I guess we'll all have to check it out tonight. Yay! Uh, all right. I'll show you all my special demon dance. You're back. No work. Uh, have you no gratitude after all that effort and work I did for you yesterday? Thanks for coming to lend a hand, Beelzebub. You were a big help to us. Oh, it was really nothing at all, girls. You two can ask for my help anytime you like. I guess you really just can't resist those two, can you, Beelzebub? I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna let all hang out! No, you're not! You'll only bring great shame to dragons everywhere! You know, I'm quite confident in my dancing skills, too. I'd really rather you didn't dance, either. But why not, Master? I don't understand the problem. Anyway, they'll ban you from the festival if you get out of hand. How rude of them! Come on, Master. What's wrong with my dancing? It's a little, um... Beelzebub, what's your dance like? It's a mysterious ancient demon dance that sucks out mana. It's another peaceful day. Huh? 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 Hang on! I'm coming! Hello there! How can I help you? <laughs> After 300 years of killing slimes, another fun day is about to begin! <laughs> <laughs> 